07 was far from perfect if you hello hello everyone welcome back to some more ps2 stuff uh today we are playing some more odin sphere getting really close to the end of it actually um from what i've been told by people who have played the game before we have this character to finish up the black sword and then one more afterwards and an epilogue uh, and on the Black Sword one, we are on the epilogue, so, like, basically, basically done with it. We are very close to finishing up this character, and then we'll be, uh, finishing up the other one soon. I suspect one more stream after this one, to be honest, but regardless, getting really close. Hey, Rue! Hey, Valkyrie! Hello, hello to both of you. You're gonna be lurky, you're at work at the moment? Dude, I totally understand. I appreciate you being here even though you're at work. That's crazy. But, uh, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. All right, uh, Fire Boy. That's right. That's where we're going. I kind of forgot from last week, but that's what we're doing. Gotta get some cooling potions, I guess, real quick, so we don't take too much fire damage. I don't suspect it'll be too hard to finish this one up, but I guess we will see. <laughs> Odin just said, get fucked. お前は、もしや、お待ちください、オダインを。誰か、あの娘が来ていると聞いたのでな。ああ、タイタニアの賢人たちがもたらした私の宝だ。丁重に扱っているよ。返しはしないがな。それは面白い。娘一人で国を動かそうと図るか。正気とは思えぬが。それとも本当に炎の軍勢は北の大地まで押し寄せるつもりか。This <笑> ほろんでゆく世界をお前の娘と共に北斎を見ながら見守るのもいい。わしよりも長く生きていながらそのように青臭い See, he does care, guys. He's just terrible at showing it. <laughs> Only just. <laughs> Wait, what spell did he cast? Honor? Is he talking about the sleeping one or whatever? Doubt. <laughs> Just doubt. <That's laughs> I mean, he did come to save her. That's some level of caring. It may not be much, but it's some. It shows there's there's some level of, of care there, you know? A baseline of it, at least. A base level. Game is loading. Very slowly. Game, please. Thank you. Alright. Save Gwendolyn from King Onyx. Let's fucking go, dude. Uh, also, I would like you real quick. Do we have any... Oh, shit. We got all those 90s. We probably don't have... I was gonna say we probably don't have seeds, though. But holy shit, am I wrong on that? We definitely do have some seeds. Uh, Okay. Well, in that case, real quick. Let's go ahead and plant... A couple Naples. Um, we just have to try and remember not to forget them. 
and then take one of the level 90s that we have and make a healing potion so we can take that and not be taking tons of damage while we're uh, just kind of chilling in here. Uh, and then we instantly get caught on fire twice. So, and dizzy. This is going well so far. <laughs> oh, good. Good, good, good. I hate the fire fucks, dude. I hate all of them. <laughs> Came to save his plan, but I'm bitter. I mean, yeah, sure, it, it has to do with this plan, but I mean, I don't know, man. I think I think there is some care there. I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend like he, you know, is a good father or anything like that. Not even close. But I do think he at least cares for his daughter, you know? Like, he doesn't want her to, to die or anything like that, I don't think. At least that's my interpretation from what I've played, but obviously uh, everyone is free to interpret as they see fit. We need some health. We we can just use the, the health heal thing. Might as well do that instead of wasting the Naples and shit that we got. Worst one ever. My own father apparently looks like death in Arizona. That's awesome. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, I, I'm... Yep. <laughs> I'm on that train with you, man. <laughs> Shitty father club. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, no, I definitely feel that. I definitely feel that. All right. Uh, healing, healing, healing. Almost there. Thank you. And let's GTFO. If we can find another habanero while we're running around, though, that would be fantastic. Ooh, maybe. I heard a squeak. Yeah, thanks, man, because there's a good chance we're going to need another cooling potion before we get out of here. Uh, I guess we'll just follow left is what we'll do, because as is always the case it seems we don't get a map the farther we get into the game until deeper into the i want to call it a dungeon that's what this feels like it almost feels like a dungeon crawling game honestly like uh to in a lot of ways that's what it feels like you know like we're like we're dungeon crawling it's it's not in the pure sense of the word i guess but it's very in a lot of ways it's similar to one you know it's just your dungeon is a bunch of individual mini, like, levels. Well, I mean, and that's kind of what dungeon crawlers usually are, too, so... I don't know. It's very dungeon crawler-esque. That's all I'm saying. Hey, Noodle! Uh, I guess I'll type it out. Hello, Noodle. Some stream love on that, because... Yep. Eat the maple real quick. And holy fuck the seeds, dude. Okay. I mean, we'll pick up everything and then just dump it into a material. Mulberry, because we're probably not going to focus much on growing all this shit right now. But we might as well grab them. There's no reason to, you know, just leave them on the ground. If I knew, like, the boss was right next door or something, then maybe I would. But we don't, so... We know the boss is around here somewhere, but there's a decent chance we'll need some healing before then. Which reminds me, actually, do we have any healing potions? I think we ended up using them all, didn't we? So if we get really fucked, we're going to have to go grind for some carrots. But I think, honestly, I think we'll be okay. We have unlimited power. We have an antidote. We have a bunch of naples. I, I think it'll be fine. This is the final boss, or this is the boss that you can beat in like 10 seconds. I remember you mentioning that. I couldn't remember if it was this one or one of the ones in the next character story, but I do remember you mentioning that, Valgri. So probably nothing to worry about then. I'm sure everything will be great. Where did, there it is. Where did the potion go? Uh, mulberry seed, yep, we can get rid of that. We're definitely not gonna be growing any mulberries. What do we need for, Let's, let's, oh man, I forget how to play the game. Start, text, potions. What do we need for like, not blizzard, cooler, dr drain? Hmm, interesting. Elixir, that is a carrot, which we don't have. Fire spirits we can do with the turnip, which I think we have. Did I just make that level seven though, or is it, it's still level six? Perfect, and then we will grab a turnip, and we'll make some fire spirits. Because, yeah, that will give us a little bit of invulnerability whenever we get around to the boss. So that'll be handy. 
what else do we have ingredient wise we have habaneros that we can get from here and more turnips so i mean we could just fire is kind of annoying here because everything's probably going to be resistant to it because we're kind of you know in the land of fire but is there anything else we can do we can make ice spirits actually with the habaneros okay so that yeah killer cloud as well Cubs main onion metamorphosis we don't need any of that use painkillers cub veins and carrots regen regen okay we can do we can make some regen potion that's what we'll that's what we'll focus on regen sounds great um do, 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 do we have another level zero we do thank you level z dump that in how is your fish coming, Noodle? I don't know how much attention uh, attention she's paying right now, so I can tell you, though, her fish is finished. It's actually sitting next to the cat. <laughs> not being eaten, though. The cat's being nice today. It's not eating the fish. But they are, they are chilling next to each other on the desk here. And uh, Noodle's been painting little ceramics, Rue. <laughs> and... Uh, one of them was a cat another was a fish not like not a real fish it's okay no <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't need to get too angry it's just it's just a ceramic fish yeah yeah uh okay what else do we have man we got so many seeds holy hell just pick up all the stuff what was it level eight i think is what we wanted for the regen uh i would rather keep the navels if possible we're not going to be doing any cooking so we'll just get rid of that naple naple i mean we're similarly are nice but i don't care get rid of it i'd rather have a regen potion and then anything else we can dump in right now it doesn't look like it i'll throw one of the naples in just because i want to i want to get at least one regen potion out of the way before i forget and that'll give us a little bit of uh Wait, what is X? Hold on a second. We can also make X. What the hell is X? Alchemy. Oop, it'd probably be faster to go that way. Extra foes. Oh, okay, yeah, that's... I mean, that's fine. But, no, we're good on that. We don't, we don't need that. Okay. Level 8 and the turnip. I know I had another turnip somewhere. Thank you. Regen potion. Hell yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Keep on moving up. But that gives us some health through regen. It also, we got the fire spirit one, which gives us temporary invulnerability. Um, so we're, I think we're doing pretty decent now. It's, oh, we only get one use of regen from that potion. I mean, okay, so we're definitely going to be saving that for the actual boss. But that's fine. I'd still, I'm just happy to have it. I'm not sure we can handle being fish owners. Depends on the fish. I honestly don't think having a fish would be too bad personally, but yes, I do I do see what uh, Rue is saying with it depending on the fish, because some fish are certainly more uh, of a pain to take care of than others. Wow, that chick puts out some damage, man. Holy hell. Okay, that's fine. That just means we're going to have to play a little more carefully. Maybe uh, drink a cooling potion instead of running straight into battle like a dumbass. Cooling potion. Thank you. Alright, where's she gonna spawn? Come at me, bro. Uh, can we hit her? I'm gonna get caught on fire. I'm gonna get caught on fire so much. Oh, God. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's still only level one fire, but we are still on fire, though. I think running around actually heals the flame quicker, which, I mean, makes sense, right? It's, like, blowing out the fire or whatever. Uh, can you maybe not? Oh, God. You had a fish tank with fake fish before? That's my kind of fish tank right there, man. Zero maintenance. And he tried to put a dehydrated starfish in the tank and it rehydrated a can of rot. Bro, that's nasty. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. We need we need health so bad. 
If I could just kill her quickly enough, then we could just do the heal. Oh, she's dead. She's so dead. There we go. G fucking G, dude. We're not going to get a good rating on this one, but at least we'll be alive. Now we just need to kill the little dudes. And we will be good to go. It was foul. <laughs> Didn't think it through. Yeah, I'd say. I mean, I probably would have done the same sort of thing, though. I can't even, like, I can't talk shit here. <laughs> Where's the last things that are alive? There's definitely something else around here. Oh, there's more Fozons, though. Please, I will take. Oh, Jesus, there's all kinds of Fozons. How did I miss all of those? Holy hell, dude. Damn, that's traumatizing. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get a shit rank, but I don't care. It's fine. Uh, Cypher heal, please. Give me all the heals and give them to me quickly. If we heal between each encounter, all we have to do is not take enough damage to die in the encounter, and it'll be fine. <laughs> Sounds like a fun, traumatizing childhood experience. I was going to say, I feel like he was probably damn near an adult at that point. <laughs> just, just, I had a feeling about that one, man. Ooh, a level 10. Uh, do we need more cooling potion or anything? Not yet. We'll, we'll deal with more potion making after the next encounter, whatever it is. We said we were going to follow left, so we will go this one. Collect the squeaky squeakums, of course. An onion? Cool. I forget what all we can make with onion. I know we can make napalm, and I'm pretty sure antidotes, but we don't really need either one of them. The The napalm may be good for, you know, just some general damage on the boss, even though, again, I'm fairly certain fire resistance is a thing on everything here, considering they live in a volcano. Also, I just realized we weren't taking fire damage because this is a shop level. I just wasted that potion. It's fine. <laughs> what are you selling, guy? I have 71 gold and nowhere else to spend it. So, power recovery rates, kind of nice adversity ring. No, ancient crystal, don't care. Uh, so, you have fuck all, really. I mean, the ancient crystal could be nice, would probably help us with the boss. And maybe, like, if we get to the end and we're fucked or something like that we could come back and buy it but all right we're gonna make some more cooling potion we might as well use the level 90 so i'm gonna plant that grab a 90 and a habanero and that should grow that and then then some come on grow quickly absorb more fosons there you go that should be all you need, I can absorb the rest. Thank you. Cypher level 28. Very nice. Uh, and we're going to do the thing real quick, too, while we're here. Still a traumatizing experience. Yes. Yes. I, I imagine it would be. <laughs> For Choco and Starfish. I mean, the Starfish was already dead, right? I mean... I don't think, I don't, I'm no expert on starfish, but I don't think they can survive being dehydrated entirely. So, yeah, just kind of, just kind of gross. <laughs> Naples are going to be like our only food source or our only healing source other than that one regen potion, which is only going to go so far. Uh, okay, we are taking damage this time, so cooling potion, please. You didn't know it was a real starfish? Oh, you thought it was like a plastic one or something like that. I mean, I guess I can see that, you know, with it being dehydrated <laughs> Not until the soup happened. Bro, that's gross as hell. <laughs> for, some for some reason, calling it soup makes it that much worse in my head. That's terrible. <laughs> That's nasty, bro. Alright, if I remember correctly... Those things blow up, is what I was gonna say. And we probably don't want to be near them when they do, because, uh... They hurt like hell. Reminds me of Pokemon, man. Like, when a Electro blows up, you just... You don't want to be nearby, man. It will kill the shit out of you. The mystery of the starfish. How did it end up on land? I imagine, honestly, like, 
I imagine there's probably a like starfish uh, dehydrating industry. <laughs> I I don't know why, but I I honestly believe that's probably a thing. I don't know if it's a thing in other places in the world, but it's got to be in America, man. All kinds of weird shit that people do. Dehydrating starfish honestly wouldn't even be that high on the list. Run away before it blows up, please. I really don't like you in your acid balls, Mr. Pokemon looking bro. Oh god, there's more and there's so many bombs. We are actually like very hurt right now. This is not great. Okay, the fire's out. We are going to eat a bunch of Naple real quick. Because, yeah, fuck me. <laughs> I think we do have another turn up. So, yeah, we do have a one, at least one more turn up. So, if we get into a really hard spot, we can use another regen potion. But we're going to try and save them for the boss. There we go. Full heal. This must be, I'm, I'm assuming, a pretty high level encounter area, too. Because of how much damage we're, uh, or how many of these guys we're facing. Although, I don't know if it really takes into account the fact that bomb bros are a lot harder than... What the fuck are you guys? Why? I mean, I know what you are, but why so many? Holy hell. Uh, everyone die? Thank you. Yeah, this has got to be level 5. I, I, am, I am positive of it at this point. <laughs> There's no way it's not. There are way too many dudes in here. I will take all the, the, the bosons, I suppose. We got rid of all of our seeds, so it's not like we're going to be growing anything. Honestly, 659 health seems like a pretty decent amount anyways. That's fine. Tour spots sell them. You can probably get them online. That's, I didn't even think about like tour spots and things like that. I, I personally was just thinking of the, the like whole online thing. Uh, onion and habanero. I mean, we'll take it. There's no reason not to. Mulberry, Ruvort, or simile. Mulberries. Uh, I imagine our inventory is getting full, so let's do just a tiny bit of organization to make the potion crafting easier that we're about to do. Um, okay, can we get like all of the all of the mulberries? Or I'm sorry, the mulberries. All of the uh, potion ingredients together. And then all of, like, the seeds and shit together, maybe? That would be a handy way to do it. Grab the 90 cooling potion. Regen. And I know I'm, like, fucking these things up that I just fixed in a way. But it's fine. You guys there. And then food can go here, I guess. That's, I mean, it's sort of organized. Not really, but kind of. What if we put those there and then we can put ingredients here stuff to be mixed at the top okay there we go now we can quickly mix all these things together what do we have we have a level 10 a level 90 and that's it might as well do some level 10 just uh get that up to something what do we want we want another regen which we need a level 8 so 18 is what we're going for never even considered buying a dried starfish yeah i mean <laughs> Unless you're, like, really into starfish, I don't imagine that's a very highly searched term, you know? <laughs> like, dry, where to buy dried starfish. But I could imagine now that Noodle brought up the tourist spot thing, I could imagine being by, like, the ocean or something like that. And just seeing one at a little tourist shop and being like, oh, that's a decent memento to take home, you know? Uh, <laughs> a dead sea creature. Who doesn't want to take that home with them? Or maybe you're just a really big Patrick from uh, Spongebob fam. So you decide to, you know, <laughs> grab a starfish to take home with you. Uh, we're going to sacrifice a habanero because we have a shit ton of them. And we're going to easily get more, I believe. Uh, not X. We want R. Yes. Kind of like collecting chestnuts in Germany. Do we guys do that in the fall? Uh, when I was a kid, I would do something similar. But, I mean, I haven't really so much, you know, as an adult. 
And was it chestnuts, though, that we used to collect as a kid? I don't think it was chestnuts. It was a different kind of nut, if I remember correctly, but I'm not sure. Anyways, point is, there were just a bunch of trees with them all over the place where I grew up, and, uh, yeah, they would be just completely covering the ground, especially around fall-ish time, and we would, uh, grab them all up. A lot of people have quote-unquote ocean-themed bathrooms, so they will have, like, a basket of seashells and starfish in there as decorations. Oh, and beach houses with beach names. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true, I guess, like, as a theme for the house or something like that. That's the sort of stuff I never really think of, you know? I'm not an interior decorator. If it weren't for the fact that my friend is a painter, like, she makes paintings of, uh, whatever, I would have nothing on my walls, even, other than the couple things that Noodle has purchased to hang on the walls, because I just... <laughs> I don't decorate. My decoration is having, uh, you know, a thousand video games scattered about and uh, a console collection. That's that's my decoration, and uh, that's <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> that's what I do. It's a total basic bitch bathroom, honestly. I mean, yeah, sure. It kind of is, but <laughs> it's funny you say that because when I, I remember being a kid at my grandpa's house after my aunt moved in, she uh, one of the first things she did whenever she moved back, I guess back home for her, right? Anyways, whenever she moved in, was she uh, got some ocean stencils of like uh seahorses and fish and things like that and uh repainted the top of the bathroom wall because it had like a, a lining or whatever you know and added that theming to it and uh, it was cute though but yeah it is kind of basic bitch i suppose hey there's the boss dope um cool ass ring but we're at the end of his story so what's the point we're just going to go to the boss all right, we might as well get rid of everything that we don't need. So was there anything, any other potions that we wanted to make? Anything that we could use? We might as well eat some food, too, to get our health back up. Um, okay, so we have habaneros, and we have onions. That's it. Are there anything with onion or habaneros that we want to make before we go? We could make... Do antidotes? I don't think we need that. Plus, if poison ends up being a problem, we can switch out our, our thing and, and be fine there. Cooling we have, but I don't think we need on the boss. Drain? No. Elixir? Nope. Can't make it. Turn Ooh. Fire spirits? We don't have any turnips left. Habanero? Ice spirits. Ice spirits. Okay, that's, that's what we want to make. So we want to get as many level 6s as we can, I think, and then just make ice spirits because that'll give us some decent resistance and we might as well use the level 91 because again we're at the end so 91 use up all our good shit to uh some another trick that i just thought of um that i never would have thought of on my own but thanks to valkyrie i think is the one that mentioned it um, there's no potions that are made on odd numbers, so we might as well do stuff like use the onions that we're not going to be using otherwise to get us up to even numbers. So we can, like, mix that to get to 94, and then we will use a seed to get to 95. We should make some napalm? Okay, I'll make napalm with that last onion that we have. Uh, have an arrow to get to 96. Don't use the onion. I won't, I won't, we only have one more thing anyways, one more material. So I will save the last onion. Onions have layers. <laughs> okay, okay. I got it. All right, grab that. And then, where's my other one? We have a level zero. And where's my onion? Is that, okay, what's napalm? What level is napalm? I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> Shrek Fiona. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Y'all be weird as fuck. I just want you to know this. <laughs> All the Shrek love. Uh, Napalm. Release an explosive. Two. Level two. Okay, that's that's easy. I'm glad I didn't mix it with that, though. So... Mulberry seed? 
to get to level one. Hey, OptiJack, what's up, man? You, if I remember correctly, got a gift sub last night, so I think you got a gift sub. I'm pretty sure your name popped up whenever those were going out. People were getting or giving gift subs like left and right because y'all are insane. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Material 2 and Napalm. I repeat, y'all are weird as fuck. Just throwing that out there. All right, do the Fozon release. Thanks, Nate, if he's here. I don't think he is. He'll probably pop in at some point, but I imagine he's out dashing right now. That's what he's usually doing, doing during the day. What is Cyclone? Oh, that's the one. It releases a, uh, a tornado, a Cyclone. That totally makes sense. We were playing Stardew last night, man. You should have came in, although you were probably sleeping or some shit. Now that you're... uh working you're on that that work grind <laughs> one of these days since we're gonna have to talk later because now that you're off on mondays we should uh find something to do oh actually though that reminds me i'm thinking about considering y'all will have to let me know if it works for you and i'm not gonna change it until odin sphere is done but i am considering moving the whatever game we're completing stream to wednesdays because Monday is my only day that I'm not doing anything at night. So if I move the stream to Wednesday, then I would be busy all day Wednesday and night, basically. But that means Monday I would have completely off. I wouldn't have any sort of obligation to do, which would be, you know, awesome for me. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to do is move the, the, the the daytime whatever game we're completing stream to wednesday uh, but again we're not going to move it until after own seer is done because i don't want to move this series again for like the third time granted the other times weren't you know my choice i was kind of forced into it because of work but still it was storming like crazy and you got soaked. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I'm, glad. I'm glad you got home all right. How was the, uh, how was the house, though? Bruh. Topical. Those with power are selfish beings. <laughs> Meet Onyx's monster form? What? Is this the first time that we saw it? Because we we fought Onyx before, right? I'm still wearing jeans from doing the lawn, and that's kind of annoying. Just needs a day or two to clean Oh, that's not bad then, man. It just needs cleaned up a bit. Fuck it, right? Okay, if we're from Final Fantasy, man, I miss Final Fantasy. I fucking love Final Fantasy games. I need to pick a game to play. I've just been playing Stardew Valley on my off time, but I've been playing so much Final Fantasy during my, like, streaming time. Or Final Fantasy? Stardew. I've been playing Stardew Valley so much during my streaming time that uh, I, I need to pick like a different game to play during my off time. I'm thinking maybe Final Fantasy 9, but I don't know. Or Final Fantasy 7. I do need to finish the Final Fantasy 7 remake, especially since Crisis Core is coming out here soon. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Okay, so we'll use unlimited power so that we can just beat the shit out of him. Ow. <laughs> Holy fuck, that hurt like hell. Uh, I didn't expect, you know, damage that quickly. Regen. Um, we don't have painkiller, but we don't need painkiller at the moment. Ice spirits, so that we can do that, and then, and then tr go and try to go in without taking damage. And apparently, what napalm is what y'all are telling me? Uh, can I go beast form myself? Thank you. Oh my god, the lag is unreal. Uh, also, we are taking hella fucking damage, dude. Holy shit. Flame level two? This dude is fucking out there, man. 
Uh, okay. I <laughs> did not expect to be taking this much damage. Uh, fuck me. Uh, hi. Uh, wait, wait, are there two of him? Okay. Is regen still active? It is still active. We're just dead. Holy hell. Okay. That dude puts out some damage, bro. Onyx kind of has a reason to be an arrogant bastard. He is one of the five calamities that will bring the end of the world. Uh, so fuck that guy is what I'm hearing. That's what that sounds like to me. But holy shit, dude. <laughs> okay, I don't think he'll be too hard to, to kill. I think we just need to be careful about whatever he was doing there that was putting out a, a shit ton of damage. We just need to be more careful about that. Uh, so down that regen. Get the unlimited power. First use Napalm and then use Explosion. Is that the, the Phozon release? Is that what you're talking about? Because there's nothing called Explosion in this, in the, the American version at least. Um, but we do have... Okay, I'm going to use another Ice Spirit just to prevent, you know, damage. Um, but we have Phozon release, which is similar, I think. Oh my god. Stop running. I'm trying to kill you. Yes, the ability. Okay, okay. Stop running! I can't do shit when you're running. I need you to stand still, please. Okay, uh, fire, I guess. Again, fire is going to be, like, useless, but it'll stop us from taking any damage at all, at least. Okay, there we go. He, okay, well, running through all the things on the... I am so angry! Okay, Napalm. <laughs> Napalm, and then... Phozon Burst. I'm assuming just use Phozon Burst a couple of times. Uh, so that didn't do much. I don't know if we did it wrong or what, but, uh... That, that didn't, that didn't hurt him that bad, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little more concerned now. It's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure everything's gonna... You stunned him. He was stunned? I honestly didn't even realize he was stunned. Uh, okay. So, I mean, we may have to fight him again. If we, I mean, I guess if we die here. I might as well throw down the ooze just because. Wait, why didn't that trigger... Uh, ooze? Ooze me, daddy? There we go. That's what I wanted. Ow. Yes, he's got flame resist. I know. Okay. Which actually, you know what? It seems like he's about to do... Why? Oh! We can't use items in our, in our beast form, I guess. That actually kind of makes sense. It gives us a downside. He should be. He doesn't seem too stunned right now. <laughs> I think, honestly, the best move, IMO, is just, uh, is just using the unlimited power and just beating the shit out of him in Beast Horn. I think is probably the best move next time. I mean, we can try your strat again, but it didn't seem to work at least this time. Okay, and we are out of, like, all of the useful potions. So now we just have to try to fight him like normal, which is, uh, probably not gonna end so well. <laughs> yep. He's... Okay, we're dead. That's fine. That's fine. We'll try, we'll try your strat one more time. So get our potions up so that we don't die instantly and then do you have only one napalm yes did you need like multiple napalm to make it work or something like that because yes we do only have one we only had two onions so i could have technically have made two but i uh didn't get your your reminder about that until it was too late all right use i don't care use the fire sphere it's just something to stop us from taking damage and then a regen potion. You used like three to four. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's fine then. We'll just do it. We'll just do it the other way, man. Just uh, unlimited power. Get some regen. 
I think we already took that. Go into beast form and then just beat the shit out of him, man. And watch the, the lag show. <laughs> Because, I mean, that right there did a fair bit. It didn't kill him, but it did a fair bit of damage to him. So, we want to hit him and then turn around. Oh, shit. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Use a something to make us invulnerable again. So that the regen can do its magic. It doesn't matter which one. It uh, seems like we still have the unlimited power thing working. And then just start trying to beat him as much as we can. I was really hoping to beat him a little bit more while he was running around, not gonna lie. Okay, go out of that mode. It's fine, I think I think this strategy will work of just unlimited power and beat the shit out of him. Okay, I think our unlimited power ran out, so exit that mode. Uh game. What if we use an unlimited power while we are out of power? Does that just instantly fill it? It does. Cool. Now would have been the perfect time to just beat the shit out of him while he was just sitting there like that, but we were a little slow. Okay, we're taking a bunch of damage. He's doing whatever move that is. Um, now's a good time to maybe... Oh, uh, I don't know. Throw an ooze at him? Just... Oh, you know what? Now's actually a decent time to throw the napalm at him or oh i guess we probably won't be able to throw napalm at him because of this this fire ring thing that he's got going on is regen still working i don't know take another one oh shit we have ice we have ice let's take the ice so we don't take any more damage while we're stuck in this weird fire ring thing and then okay it looks like that is done so can we throw the napalm now we can and then, again, just beat the shit out of him. Go dark, go quick. Yeah, he's he's done for, man. We, we definitely got him. We're healing. We're not taking any damage. We got the ice spirits going. So even if he does try to damage us, he's done, though. G fucking G, Mr. Calamity, sir. Why are you not dying? Why are you not dying? You should be... You have zero health. You should be dead. Just foes on burst. I don't... <laughs> there we go. Okay. He's dead. He's dead. I, I think maybe the animation was just taking a while because of all the lag. I don't know. But he's done so. Give fuck, Mr. Onyx, sir. Good riddance. <laughs> I think by kicking your ass, I prove I do have the authority. Oh, I see what you're saying, Rue. Yeah. この胸の苦しみをどうやって耐えろというのか。突然現れた無礼者に宝を奪われ、どうやって。お前の言葉はそのまま俺の言い分だ。口づけでも何でもして起こしてみるがいい。だが愛されはしないぞ。彼女は
That's still weird as shit. <laughs>そんなことで私の面相を埋め合わせようなどともう一つ覚えておいてもらおう俺の目の黒いうちを彼女に近寄らせはしないぞ Oswald's best, bro. I see why you guys like him so much, though. Honestly, so far I do think he's the best character in the game that I've that I've played, followed by Gwendolyn. Although the Puka dude was he was pretty decent, but that's abusive and super toxic. Yeah, like I get that it comes from a place of love or whatever, but that doesn't make it okay. <laughs> さきにはもう誰の Ah, in some ways she saved him. That's cute. Save the game, please. Yes, and thank you. And actually, I think that takes us to the next character, which is the perfect time to take our break because we have been going for just under an hour at this point. Let's make sure there's no other cutscenes or anything. Kissing a girl while she sleeps isn't. I mean, that's a no-consent situation there. It is, but I mean, like, if they're under a magic spell and that's the only way to wake them up, then someone has to do it, right? Like, I'm just saying. Like, obviously, yeah. IRL, you should never kiss a girl while she's asleep. But, like, without prior consent, I guess. Like, in a relationship or something. But not that a relationship is automatically consent. Throwing that out there. If, getting sidetracked. Point is, she's under a spell. If the only way to break the spell is to kiss her, then, you know, someone has to at some point wake her up. You can't just leave her asleep forever. It's like when someone's dying and you give them mouth to mouth, you know? Like, it's okay in that situation because they're dying. <laughs> the only way to save them is to, to, it's not the same as a kiss, but it might as well be. So, yeah. By the way, Shreem, I don't know if you're saying anything because I'm with someone so tight. <laughs> uh, there's no way I'm typing all that out. So. It was the only way to break the spell. Kind of like giving a dying person mouth to mouth. So I think it's okay in that situation. Period. That's that's <laughs> anyways guys, okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take our break. I'm gonna stand up and stretch and get a drink and do all that stuff. I suggest you guys all do the same if you've been sitting for a while. We'll be back in like three to five minutes to start, I think it's Valentine, right? Pretty sure that's who we're playing next. So BRB. But, but even it, I, uh, I I feel had a little bit more solid to shooting mechanics. Oh, I see we also got another weapon here at some point. I don't even remember picking this thing up. But all right, does it have like a, a limited range or something? Oh, okay, dude spawning in. Dude spawning in everywhere. Holy crap! Well, I think we just got a game over. <laughs> Red zero, and we died. So does that mean GG? I think that means GG. Yep, that's a GG. <laughs> All right, so it's going well. It's going well. Also, it looks like it may be... I'm gonna switch my personal view here to out of OBS. I wanna make sure that it's not looking darker than it's supposed to. I My setup hasn't really changed other than the fact that I'm using a different cable, but I did upgrade my RetroTanks firmware and I'm pretty sure I have the settings mostly set the same as how I had them before. 
But because of the problems we had with uh, darkness and levels before, I just want to make sure this is how the game is supposed to look, with it being somewhat dark. We'll play. Uh, we'll we'll get to a point where we're n like a, a safe here or whatever, and then I'll switch the view back over to my uh, OBS view here, and then compare the two. But now, granted, it's on two different monitors, but from what I can see so far, though, it looks like. It may be a little bit dark. May have to uh, change it out of. Right now, I have it on full mode. I might have to put it on the limited mode, which I think is actually, now that I think about it, while my monitor itself looks great in full mode, I think OBS did have problems with it. Now that I now that I remember. So yeah, let's uh, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. We'll just pull up the menu. If I could hit the right button. And then HDMI, we want color space limited. I think even though it looks a little washed out now in my monitor, yeah, I, yeah, that looks much closer to how it looked a moment ago as far as OBS goes. So this is how we want it. Perfect, glad we got that sorted quickly and it didn't, uh, not like 10 videos deep or something like that. We could definitely use a health pop-up. Is there a chance of any of these boxes dropping health, or is that just not a thing that's going to happen? Looks like that's not a thing that's going to happen, which is too bad, because we definitely need some health. Also, am I, am I blind? Am I missing something? There's nobody here, right? Oh, wait. Is it behind the boxes, maybe? Oh, come on. Can we, can we get up here, please? Nope, nothing there. Did did the game glitch? I feel like the game glitched, man. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, no, it definitely did. There was an invisible enemy or something, because once we used that bomb, which I was hoping to wait until later on, the thing on the mini-map disappeared, and then suddenly it led us into the next area, so... <laughs> there must have been some sort of enemy glitched out there. <laughs> Quality game right here, man. Let me tell you. This game is A+. Plus. All right, pick up these things. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't really matter if we pick it up if we just uh, die instantly after, after grabbing it, eh? All right, we got the other gun, which I'm still not convinced is any better, actually, though. To be honest. Hey, look at that. Okay, so since we powered this one up now, it has two little, little shots on the side. So those things are power-ups for guns. Oh, but are they limited? Maybe they only last for a certain amount of time. There's a health pickup. That's nice. We definitely needed that. There's a big dude. I don't want to fight the big dude. He's going to murder us. I think that's another health pickup over there. Okay. Okay. We are back. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, in the grim version, Snow White was not woken up by a kiss. But because a poison a piece of the poison apple stuck in her throat when they moved the coffin, she fell out and spit out the apple. I did not know that. I need to read Grimm's Tales. Is that what they're called? I need to read them at some point, to be honest. They, they're they interesting, and I like that a, a lot of them have a darker twist than the Disney ones, right? From what I remember hearing about them, I think Noodle has read the Grimm's Tales, or at least some of them. Anyways, point is... One of these days, I need to read them. I need to add it to my reading list on my Kindle. I need to get back to reading, too, man. I'm, like, a third of the way through the second Witcher book, and I haven't gotten very far into it. Or I haven't gotten very much farther into it. Much farther? Oh, words are failing me. <laughs> I just haven't had much time to read it. And I should. because Mainly because I keep forgetting to take it to... to work with me and that's when I read is like at work in between uh, work and picking noodle up and stuff like that hello Valentine and Cornelius that's the puka bro that I forgot the name of <laughs> I 
Uh, no one cares what you think. Okay, Ingwe. <laughs> no one cares. Velvet, that's her name, not Valentine. My bad. Lullaby or something? Bedtime story kind of deal? Some are pretty dark, especially the punishments, yes. Which honestly is what makes me want to read them. Plus to see the origin of all those Disney movies that I grew up with too, you know? Bedtime story, yeah. Why can't you just let your sister be happy, bro? Like... ベルベット。that's nice. <laughs> that sounds like a great mom right there, man. Sakinihaha まだその言葉通りに災いが起こるとは限らない。お前も母や入んでるのように、幼稚でもやるというのか。すまない、ベルベット。言葉が過ぎた。もう行くよ。これは持っておけ。Not all prophecies have to come true, Ingwe. He needs therapy, yeah. Yes, he does. <laughs> A new text archive has been added. Is it like the entire prophecy? My dear children, eventually an inv an in Okay. Words. We got this. It's written in English. I grew up with English. It's my first language. I should be able to read it and speak it. Okay. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. The cauldron brings us Armageddon with its final crystal stone. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Nice. So, basically, hey, children, you're fucked. Get over it. Uh, cool, mom. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Velvet's tutorial. Wait, is she different from other characters? Double jump. Press X to sw Oh, three times. Oh, you can do the swinging thing that she does. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So oh, okay. So she's got a she's got a bit of a combo thing going on there. That's fine. Form a forward attack combo while holding left or right to perform a forward attack. Oh, that's neat too. Okay. Uh, so far, I'm liking her, man. She seems to have the most versatility in the uh, whole combat thing. Oh, okay. I kind of expected the frog to die. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Press and hold square to do a homing attack. That's me too, so kind of like, uh, what's her name? The the one that sucked. <laughs> she had a uh, homing attack that she could do. She's not very strong, at least uh, here at the beginning. That may change as time goes on, though. It seems like we can hit people... Mercedes, thank you. Seems like we can hit people really far away, though. It, especially with that homing attack. It does use a lot of pow though, half. It literally uses half of our pow, but yeah, we can hit people 
far away with it, which comes in handy, honestly. I think that'll be nice. I can get into it. S rank, cool. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. Okay, what do we get? Some gold, mulberry seeds. We will definitely take that material. What do we start with? We start with the cyclone spell, which is... I mean, it's a spell. I'll say that much. Alright, so we need to collect as many carrots as we can while we're here in the forest and keep a hold of them. Because we always end up getting to the end of the game and not having enough carrots for healing potions. So... Collect all the carrots, throw away everything else before the damn carrots. <laughs> Velvet's not strong, her defense isn't great either. Oof. Big oof. <laughs> カタラレルホイスを見誤る。先を見るのはもうやめてしまったのか。私はバレンタインを父の父。あなたは王家と古くより親しい間柄だと聞いています。羊は人間の糧であり、友ではないように。霊の友が人間であったためしようがない。K
抜きんでた魔法技術でたちまち巨大な国家に発展したのです最盛期では大陸の半分を掌握して黒市先生ん Wait, does he have more to say? We just kind of cut him off out of nowhere. Velvet Sama, Bengakuni Hanen de Orale Mascana, Chodoi, Wanga Kuni. Hm. Weird. Mara Velvet Sama, Cochirani Rasherna, Ochamo Goyo Yoshimasta Noni. Ano Morino Shiro, Hiroidesga, Choto Hempi de Sumone. Castle in the forest. Have we visited the castle in the forest? I don't think we have. And you are a shopkeeper, right? Yes, what are you selling? Not that I have that much money, but... Fish, shrimp, hot cross buns, mulberry seeds, materials, uh, some other things that we're not going to buy because we're broke right now. And since we have nothing but... What, a couple carrots? Or a carrot and a onion. We are going to do a whole lot of nothing. So exit and get on with the story. The castle from Gwendolyn and Oswald. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, starting out with the Ice Kingdom. I guess I shouldn't be... Or not the Ice Kingdom. That's the Death Kingdom. Never mind. I am a bit surprised. I didn't expect to be going here right at the, right at the start.先ほどのお話ですが、大陸には、いくつかの予言が伝えられています。どの予言も世界の終焉と獣の炎を死の王、王冠魔竜の五つの最悪について語られております。ちょっとペザーバーで。伝わる予言も同じく。イングベイと机
No. The answer is no, Velvet. No. The wise men are jerks. They cannot be trusted under any circumstances. Just no. Don't trust him. <laughs> exactly. Listen to Rue. Rue knows what they're talking about. Do not trust him. He's a jerk. Wait, how does all of this lead to the land of the dead? Is that where the book's being hidden or something? I've played this game so many times. Game, load, please. It's where part of the prophecy is hidden. Oh, okay. Fair enough. There we go. Thank you, game, for loading. Head for the Netherworld's prison to meet King Gallant. Oh, that's why we're going there. Okay. That makes sense. We're off to visit Gallant, who is held captive in the Netherworld. I got it. Ah, oh, these guys. I hate these guys. I don't hate them nearly as much as I hate the, the wizards, though. The wizard, wise men, whatever the hell you want to call them. They fucking suck. <laughs> these things aren't nice, but, like... I don't, you know, they're not, <laughs> they're not nearly as bad as the freaking dudes that teleport away every three seconds. These ones you just got to absorb around. Go near the chandeliers. Yeah, I mean, that works too, I guess. It probably would have been easier than, uh, than absorbing near them, but I don't know. The chains are also easier to use. Huh? Yes, I do really like the chains. Um... My only concern is that her damage output seems pretty low, but hopefully the fact that we have some decent combos and a good ranged attack will help mitigate that fact that her attack and possibly defense are low as shit. Uh, I forgot to make that so that we can see some shine potion, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw, we saw the whole swinging thing with the, uh, whenever we did the, uh, the tutorial. It showed us that. So, I know of it, and it is really neat. Oh, hi, um, Tentacle Bros. I'm used to other enemies, though, whenever they attack forward, um, that they, like, move forward a little bit or whatever. I'm used to that, so it's kind of weird that her, she doesn't do that under normal circumstances. But, like, I, I imagine that's the sort of thing we'll get used to pretty quickly, though. Shouldn't be all that bad. Hey, what's up, cat boy? Spider Velvet. <laughs> uh, pop out the other fruit, please. There you go. Thank you. Wait, when did I sub? I don't remember something. Subbing? I think you were given a gift sub, if I remember correctly, uh, last night when you weren't here. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I could be mistaken. Lord knows my memory is not the best, but I'm pretty sure you were one of the ones that received one. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Also, nice to, uh, I'm assuming you're on your break, so... I hope, uh, things aren't going too poorly at work today. Also, while you're here, I mean, I can text you later if you can't hear me, but do you need a ride tonight? We got, what do we got? We got a bunch of mulberry and a baromet. I don't really care that much about the baromet. Although we did get that grilled lamb recipe. So I guess it's not that bad to to grow one and, and use or whatever. But got to go for a bit. You're leaving work. No problem, man. We'll see you in a little bit, Rue. You're in the back room getting cardboard put away. Oh, well. <laughs> Everything I said uh, still stands, you know? I hope you're having a decent day and all. Unless you're making me walk, yes, you need a ride. I've never once made her walk, just so everyone knows. She just likes being dramatic. Come at me, fish bros. 
Can't do shit by the chandeliers. Ow. <laughs> okay. Well, you can still do shit, but like I can, I can do shit back. <laughs> oh my god, you guys suck ass. Just die. Uh, hi. You came back to life very quickly, or not back to life, but got back up very quickly. Um. I what I said stands though. I would appreciate it if you all died. Okay, or we might die. That's possible. Homing attack. Wait, did I plant? Did I plant mulberry or something? Okay, they are mulberries. They just uh, on the on the little indicator up top there. I saw how tall it was, and I was like, hold on a second. Mulberries don't grow that tall. Why the hell? <laughs> but no, it's just showing what stage of growth it was in. She does have that attack at least, which can do some damage forward, but holy hell, dude. There are so many of you. Why are there so many people? This this must be a level five encounter. Uh it's fine. Just keep just keep planting stuff, because we need that food early on. Oh, that wasn't far enough. We missed. I can just one or two of you die, please? That would make my life so much easier. Uh, eat a mulberry. I think that might level us up. It did. Needles? What happened? What? I just we have some needles in the parking lot. Oh, that's nice. Love, love that noodle. Wait, wasn't there another plant around here somewhere? Or was it... Oh, it must have been the bear met. Maybe one uh, one got released and one didn't or something. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely drug problems in our area. I mean, there is across most of America. So, not, not too much of a surprise, I assume. But, yeah. That's a thing. It was a fun time? Oh, I bet. It sounds like a fun time. I would like to pick up all these mulberries, please. All the mulberries. You were thinking about needles used to sew. Weren't even thinking about drugs. Yeah. That's, uh... Honestly, whenever I first saw it, I was thinking, like, pine needles. Which is stupid, because uh, I know where Noodle works at, of course. And I know that there's no pine needles anywhere near where she works or pine trees. But, uh... Yep, that, that's that's where my mind went, so good job me, I guess. Why do you take so many hits to kill, Mr. Sheep? This is the equivalent of, like, unloading an entire clip into a basic mob in a shooting game or something. Like, why? <laughs> you should not be this hard to kill. Just die, sheep. Oh, my God. Wait for the power to regen. This is why I don't like growing the sheep, man. <laughs> They're annoying. Holy hell. Okay, eat uh, another mulberry just to get that last little bit of health. Now, which way do we actually want to go? We can skip that, boss. Don't care about you. You also have nothing that I care about over there. Don't care about that shop or any of these seeds. So, really, I just need... What is that? Okay. I kind of care about whatever that is. So, we're going to go this way, fight that boss, do that... I guess fight that boss because what the hell is that? And then fight the main boss for the area. That's the that's the plan of action here. We also probably have a bunch of stuff in our inventory now. Let's uh No, I didn't mean to click you. Just move you up there and then Okay, so we want to keep the lamb chops if possible. They're pretty decent heals, especially early on, but I'd rather turn them into food. So we're gonna keep a hold of those if possible. There were three and a couple customers were freaking out about it, so you had to get them. They were like, there's three needles? Or there's needles. I was like, yeah, it happens. Yep. Sounds about right, honestly. Cyclone. I couldn't remember what magical ability we had. Hello, Anna Bros. Uh, I mean, mulberries take, like, nothing to grow. I'm assuming that we'll be able to grow a mulberry at least with whatever this dude puts out. If we don't die from being, you know, dizzy AF. Oh, you were invisible. You're with the customers on this one? Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> Not wanting uh, needles in the parking lot of the place you are shopping is legit. 
you get used to it. The thing is, though, you shouldn't get used to it, you know? That's the, <laughs> that's the thing. It's not the sort of thing that people are meant to get used to. Just uh, drug-ridden needles being uh, in your par parking lot. It's really weird her, her not having like the the movement forward. It's gonna take some getting used to. We'll get there. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's just just not used to it yet. Ow. So so far at least her defense doesn't seem too bad, but we're also still very early. So I imagine these uh these creatures don't put out that much damage. I'm trying to collect from that butterfly, thank you. That's my only focus right now. Okay, back to trying to murder the boss. Or what we should probably do, honestly, is uh, heal and with some mulberry. One more and that'll be a full... Oh, no. One more. There we go. Ow, bro. I just healed. Why you gotta be rude? Can We can probably hit you from all the way over here. Uh, Maybe? I don't know if we did actually or not. That takes so much pow. I mean, it makes sense. It's a homing attack that works, like, really far away. It should take a bunch of pow. Stop disappearing. I'm trying to murder you. <laughs> Frozen mashed potato medallions? What is that? A mashed potato medallion? I mean, it sounds tasty, but I have no idea what that is. Ow, bro. Stop being rude. Can you just sit in one spot for a minute and let me... Oh, shit. Uh, nope. There you go. Just, just... No, just stay there. I'm trying to kill you. It's a puck of potatoes. Hmm. <laughs> I do like me a good puck of potato. No, I'm sure... I'm sure it would be good, honestly. I'm just being a dick. Ghosts can only be defeated when they're materialized. I know that, actually, game, but thank you for the tip. I think... Ooh, there's another Fozon. Collect it. You're assuming it's similar to the potato balls? Probably. Just like a, a concentrated potato. It's weird that it's frozen, though. Because if it's like dehydrated potatoes, you don't really need to, to freeze it. They're perfectly shelf-stable on their own. Let's grab the mulberry. One and two. And then eat a couple of those for the healthy health. It's insane how much more experience you need in the later levels. All right, so we're going this way and then the two boss fights. It's gonna take a little bit getting used to uh, using Velvet, but it's nowhere near as bad, I think, as Mercedes was. Because, like... Because Mercedes, that one was rough, man. I thought it was going to be really cool, but she was just so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Honestly, like, it was it was hard using, using her. Her damage output actually seems pretty decent. Again, we're, we're early game, so that could definitely change. But so far, it seems decent. Oh, that's her up attack? I didn't even mean to do an up attack, but... I did. Also, we just got fucked by tentacles and not in the good way. Wink, wink. Uh, anyways, like roasty, I think we have something similar. I don't think that's what she means. I'm Googling what a roasty is just to make sure I have the right thing in my head. Yeah, no, no, no. That's like a, uh, that's similar to what we would call a potato pancake. Not the same exact thing, but similar. Um... I think these are, from what she's saying, just like something you put in water to make mashed potatoes, I'm assuming. Now, if it is frozen uh, roasty, then that would honestly be pretty cool because I, I like those. They are delicious, or at least the version that I had growing up, which was just a simpler version of the same thing where, you know, you just fry potato, you didn't add any flour or anything to it. That takes five. I'm pretty sure the whatchamacallit assembly puts out 12, so we can grow two of them. 
inventory, anything else that needs sorted. We'll throw you down there. We have more mulberries, which is nice. We should probably make a healing potion at some point, just in case. Although, honestly, I mean, whenever it only takes two or three mulberries to level up your health, I don't know how worth it it is to... to make a healing potion. Waiting on two more pops. Come on. One more. There it goes. All the mulberries, please. Thank you. And we're going up, right? Yes. Because I don't know what that is, but it looks neat and I want it. <laughs> uh, we forgot to make a shine potion, didn't we? Don't technically have to make it, but it certainly makes our life a lot easier whenever we can see the entire map and not just where the pillar bros are. Oh, it's you again. Hi. We figured out how to deal with you last time. It's basically just get close and attack repeatedly. That seems to be the best way to deal with you. Although I don't remember you flying last time. That was new. Place half a bag of frozen potatoes in saucepan. Add a quarter cup of water. Cover. Cook on medium high heat for 9 to 11 minutes. Stirring occasionally. Let's stand for one minute and stir before serving. Yeah, so it's... it's <clears throat> excuse me. So it's mashed potatoes, but frozen. Which is weird. Not something I've ever heard of before. Because, again, dehydrated potatoes are shelf-stable. Like, they don't need anything else added into it and that's why it's weird to me but hey if it works it works i guess ah we're dizzy stop it we need some uh anti-nausea medication over here please <laughs> okay retreat retreat and heal and by that i mean eat a bunch of mulberries because what better way to heal one more should do the trick Okay, that didn't quite actually level us up like I was thinking it would, but it got us close enough. And in medallion form. The the medallion form thing still confuses me. I get it's because it's like in a puck, but I've never heard someone call that medallion form. Just, you know, I would probably just call it a puck. Ow, bro! Chill! Your homemade teriyaki chicken? Also, welcome back. But no, you did not. Was it good? I love teriyaki, anything really. It's the only like mix of sweet and savory food that I really enjoy. Because normally I'm a uh, leave my sweet and savory thing separate type of person, but teriyaki is delicious. Also, the entire screen is shaking a little bit and it's disconcerting. Yeah, so it's like it's frozen into a medallion shape. But as it thaws, I'm assuming it falls apart and turns into, like, a, a big pot of mashed potatoes. I think is how it works. I haven't seen them, obviously, but I'm thinking that's, uh, that's what goes on here. Did we get a new magic spell yet? We have not. That's okay. Cubs Bane. Power Stone. Oh, it uh, increases our power recovery, right? Yeah, okay. That actually seems pretty useful with her, too. Because her pal uh, doesn't last all that long from the looks of it. Uh, just put it down here for now, I guess, along with all of the potions. We'll do better organization later. That looks good enough. Let's eat some mulberries to get our health back up and then GTFO. You even made the sauce yourself? That's dope, dude. I'm just really glad to hear that it came out well. I always hate whenever I'm like, you know what? This uh, recipe sounds really good in my head, you know, whenever I come up with something for myself. And then I go to cook it, and everything seems to be going well. And then I try it, and it's just, meh. Like, <laughs> you know, like, it's eh, it's okay, I guess. But not not what I was hoping for, not what I was expecting. Terrible feeling. Twitch is buffering too much on mobile. You'll be on PC soon. Okay. We'll be here when you get here. No worries. At worst, we'll be on a break but we'll be back. 
maybe more proof than your balls. Uh, context, she doesn't mean like my balls. <laughs> um, whenever I was growing up, we got this like four people box of mashed potatoes. We got like four people boxes just in general food, but one of them was mashed potatoes, like instant mashed potatoes. And uh, they were, instead of being in flake form, which is what I'm used to, they were in ball form, which was weird. And I cooked them like I would normally cook the flake ones, you know, not measuring. I just boiled some water, dumped them in, but, and I dumped in like how much I would expect to have to dump in for the flakes, but it soaked up all of the water and there were still a shit ton of balls left. So I added a little bit more water and I kept doing that. Just kept adding more water, more water, more water. And next thing I know, this little bit that I had dumped in swelled up to like a giant overflowing pot of mashed potatoes, even though I only dumped in a little bit of balls. So like, it was like the flakes, but they must've been like compressed down into really small space. It was weird. I mean, it ended up tasting just fine. It tasted just like instant mashed potatoes, but I, I meant to make, you know, a small pot and ended up with a large pot overflowing full of potatoes. And uh, yeah, it was weird. I'd never uh, seen something like that before. I've never seen any like thing like that since either, since we finished that box. I'm sure you can buy them somewhere, but I don't know where. <laughs> mashed potato apocalypse. Suddenly my house was just filled to the brim with mashed potatoes as we all slowly drowned in the white fluffy goodness. <laughs> Now hopefully you learned to read instructions beforehand. Nah. Where's the fun in that, man? If I read directions, I wouldn't have had that neat life experience, you know? <laughs> the wizard just disappears without us. What a dick. You have some sad news? I don't want sad news. What's the sad news? <laughs> is this a bedtime story with the same kind, or a story with the same kind of plot but with porridge? That sounds terrible. <laughs> How many times do all of these like royalty slash god people have to get their asses kicked before they learn to just leave us common folk alone? Darien Saga 5, the lore, the Lord of Snakes, consumes all left behind, born in chaos and fire, sleep in mother's arms, life disappears from the land, all comes to an end. The born sleep, life all. Why, those are all capitalized. I feel like they have some sort of special meaning, but fuck if I know. Someone left that one of those really good Oreo bars on the shelf, and now it's all melted and needs to be damaged. No, that is sad news, man. Especially because they're best whenever they're, like, three quarters melted. <laughs> I love it whenever, like, I, I like soft ice cream anyways. Like, uh, I don't know, just super cold hard ice cream isn't, isn't the way to go, IMO. I like it soft. Come on. Let's go, game. There it goes. Uh, so, let's see. How hard are you going to end up being? Probably fairly, honestly. I'm glad we dodged that. Ow. Ow, so ow. I got to remember, like, we got to get right up on them with, Val with Velvet. I keep wanting to call her Valentine. Recover quickly, please, game. Oh, my God. The lag is real. I did Game, please. I just want to do stuff. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do stuff when you're lagging the hell out. Alright. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, no. That was almost bad. What do we... Do we only have the Cyclone spell? We do, but that might be enough to get rid of a couple of those uh, fishy bros. Are they... Is my, is my Cyclone a different color than it was before? I feel like it is. Ow. Giant spinning blades of death are not nice, Spider Mommy. 
I did not consent to be hit with your giant spinning blades of death. Or your skirt, I guess? Is that what just happened there? Oh my god, the lag, dude. Get rid of some of the enemies, please. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> I'm assuming the uh, the disgusted face is because I said spider mommy. <laughs> if so, I do not feel bad at all. That's what she is. She is spider mommy. Half dead spider mommy, if we're being specific here. All right, let's uh, let's run away for a moment. Oh my god. Okay. So much lag. We just need to get away from this shit. Uh, let's eat some mall berries, get a little bit of health back. The poems you just got are actually the manual for the final bosses. You can try to figure it out now, but you'll get a step by step later on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Weird taste. <laughs> like, I'm not saying she's my spider mommy, just that she is a spider mommy, okay? That's all I'm saying, man. I don't like how the ghosty bros can hit us, but we can't hit them whenever they're in their, like, invisible form here. Uh, there's so many of them that spawn in, too. Can I get behind her if I just, like, jump like that? There we go. Hit her from the back. Is, what is she doing right now? She's, like, sucking stuff. In. She's healing. Don't do that. Don't heal. Stop it. <laughs> Ow. Dude, why do y'all suck so bad, man? You're on the sales floor. <laughs> I'm not getting weird. Nothing weird ever happens on stream. Ah, get back here, dude. Closer. Stop running away. I don't have that much range with my normal attacks. Mm -hmm. You don't seem like you believe me all that much. I don't know why we took no damage from that, but I'm not upset about it either. I think one of the reasons there's so much damn lag is because of how many of these fish bros there are on the damn screen all the time. Like, bro. I wonder, too, if it has to do with, like, the transparency effects on them. I don't know how well the PS2 handles transparency, but... Obviously, it struggles with this uh, section of the game, so. Oh, my God. I don't want the tentacles. You're back. Welcome. Just in time to watch the slideshow presentation that is uh, this level of Odin Sphere for some reason. <laughs> Every damn time. Oh, she turns around fast. Okay, we need to we need to run away and heal. I was trying to get as much damage in on her as we can because I didn't want her to heal, but we are uh, we're taking some hits. Eat. How much mulberry do we have left? Any? No, we don't. We can make a regular health potion though, right? That's level zero with a carrot. Yeah. Healing tonic. Oh, of course you would disappear right as I go to attack you. Where did healing go? Healing. There it is. I hate... Oh, God. Okay. I'm just trying to pick up my healing potion. Guys. And she's healing so much. Oh, my God. You suck so bad. <laughs> I don't have the damage output to deal with this, especially with all of the freaking lag. <laughs> We definitely need to get her a uh, a buff to her her damage. Although, with that said, I kind of like having this power stone. We have basically not had to uh, deal with, with regeneration. Power regeneration at all. Like, it heals quick enough. Not, uh, not instantly by any means. It's not as good as using a unlimited one. But it's still a lot. And she's back to healing again. Come on. Okay, good. She healed maybe a tiny bit, but not much. Ow, dude, no. 
Stop pushing me away. I'm just I just want to be close to you. Oh, she's healing again. Stop with the healing. Nobody wants the healing. Well, except for you, but no one cares what you want either. I don't remember you doing this much healing with the other characters, and I would appreciate it if you didn't do it so damn much now. You're so close to dying. Just accept defeat. That's why you always use magic with Velvet. Yeah, I mean, that's probably a good option. But right now, we only have Cyclone. That's the only magic spell we have. Which, I mean, to be fair, is putting out some damage. Like, that is a strong option. Just a couple of hits, please. Oh, no, she's dead. She's dead, she's dead, she's dead. Thank you. All right, now absorb as many Phosons as we can before cutscene starts. I think that was a couple levels worth. Or a couple bars worth, I guess. Not levels, necessarily. Although, we might have got one level. And Phozon level equals more damage, which is what we need with her. So, I will accept it. Thank you. You maybe can't. I can. <laughs> oh. Hi, Odin. How are you, man? You're muting me? How rude. <laughs> Bye, love. Talk to you again later. Came to save his favorite kid. I, I don't think he came to save her, per se, but, like... <laughs> oh, swaying favorites again. He didn't expect to. Yeah, exactly. It's not like he came for her. That was just a uh, happy coincidence, I guess. Does he actually kill her? I want him to kind of actually kill her, like... Nope. Oh, Gwen actually did kill her whenever she fought her? Okay. I couldn't remember that far back. I remember fighting her, I just don't remember actually dying. Uh, I feel like letting the wise men know that is going to backfire big time. Look at that. Perfect timing again, dude. We are three minutes out from the next hour, so it is right on time to take a break after we save here or while we save here. I am going to go fill up my water because it is empty. Get a drink, stretch, do all that important stuff. As always, guys, I suggest you do the same. Sitting for extended periods of time is not good for any of us. But we, 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 look, that was not English. We will be right back, guys. You're not very kind. All right, we picked up another weapon, though. I see that. We need, like, homing missiles or something <laughs> to compensate for my, my terrible aiming here. I right, grabbed that other health pickup. I think we missed that the first time around. All right, so we got the other weapons now. So that's the regular gun. This is, like, a three-way shot. I, I have to assume that the, the newer guns we pick up are better in some way, right? Like, what would be the point if they, if they weren't? Just gotta freaking hit the button quick, man. Rapid fire. 
As long as they all just spawn in front of us, it'll be okay. And just, just don't, just don't, uh, don't spawn anyone behind us. Uh, or just literally on top of us. Oh, I don't know if we were supposed to kill the worm dude. I, I imagine probably not. Considering, aren't those the ones that like work in the offices and whatnot in at Men in Black headquarters, whatever the hell you want to call it? So probably shouldn't have murdered him, but uh, you know it's fine. It's fine. It happens sometimes. It was a mistake. I'm sure he'll forgive us. Okay, big dude spawned in our ass. Hey, that was... Okay, we got rid of him a lot quicker than we did last time. Just so many people, man. They are everywhere. Like I said, I am not good at bull, bullet heli type of games. I, I have trouble dodging so much crap. You put, like, one dude in front of me, that's fine. You know, one one big boss or whatever. Games like Bloodborne and stuff like that, that's, that's you know, that's great. But then you get a bunch of little dudes all firing at me at the same time, and I, I struggle, man. I struggle bad. Did somebody just spawn behind us? No. A wall just spawned behind us. Okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Uh, also, way to put a giant dude right as soon as we spawn in. I don't feel so good. Holy crap. And this is on normal. I'm, <laughs> I'm normally, like, when I play games off stream, I normally play them on the hardest difficulty, just kind of by default. That's normally what I what I hop into. That's kind of how I like to, to play my games. I am glad that I didn't do that for this game because I'm fairly certain we would be screwed. Also, just spawning in more dudes behind us, that is a cheap tactic, man. Uh, yeah, we'll take the health. We probably need that. Oh, they're up top. They're up top. Get them. Get them. Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, though, for me, it is the day after Christmas. Two days, technically, because we're after midnight. But really, just the day after Christmas. And, man, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday, whatever it is you celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate at all, I hope you just had a decent day. Uh, maybe got a chance to relax. Got some time off. Rested and recuperated and all that good stuff. My wonderful girlfriend, Mr. Noodle, who may or may not still be in stream, picked me up a couple PS2 games, so I appreciate her for that. Uh, this being one of them. <laughs> so, yeah, aren't we aren't we glad that she picked me up this wonderful game for us to uh, to to enjoy? <laughs> there she is. Yep, yep. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. I don't know what we would do without you. And uh, the ability to play Men in Black 2, Alien Escape, or whatever the heck this is called. So are we, like, it seems like every time we get hit, we're kind of losing our power up there? I don't know how... Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the 5-bit cheer. I appreciate it. Okay. Hello. We are back, guys. I got some fresh water. Love that. Nice and chilly i actually prefer room temperature but you know it came from the fridge so i don't really have much option for it to be but for it to be cold my headphones are turned up too loud turn that down a little bit there we go hello what are what are you guys saying great storms rage against our land ever since the disaster that doesn't bode well what do you got to say, old timer? これはいいところに歴史の幼いを示しよ。我が国を襲ったあの悪夢の後、魔王軍と妖精軍で残ったコルドロンの争奪戦が起こった。我が国との戦争で疲弊した魔王軍を妖精軍が下し、一旦は引
uh, we have that lamb, and if I remember correctly, we don't need anything else. I think it's just lamb and whatever money to make grilled lamb. So we will gladly take that. That should give us a nice health level boost. Eventually. There it goes. Welcome. Welcome to you, too. Uh, I would like some food, please. I have a new recipe. Cool. I didn't realize that, honestly. But... I don't care. We just... Ah, uh, shit. We don't have any of the, the silver yet to make the grilled lamb. This game really needs, like, a bank system, man. Somewhere where we can just drop stuff off and leave it for a while. That would be massively useful, honestly. Yeah, no, we can't make... We can't make anything. Damn, dude. All right, leave the restaurant, I guess. Never mind. I didn't realize we hadn't picked up any of the... The Puka currency, the Puka money yet. Again, the remake. Oh, really? Does the remake have a bank thing too? Somewhere to store stuff? Dude, yeah. <laughs> like every every complaint that I have about the game seems like they fixed in the remake, which honestly is awesome, you know? That's what remakes are for, to to make take a game that's good and just make it that much better. And again, to be clear though, like every problem I have with the game isn't game breaking in any way like it's still a very enjoyable experience it would just be better if it had some of those other things prevents prevents a set portion of damage that could be useful the gourmet ring eh, we don't need any of this okay i guess we're just uh off to the next level then i don't think there's anything else we need to do here keep that ring for now keep the lamb for now it's a storage box yes that's the word I mean, different games use different words, I guess. Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon, for instance. I'm pretty sure it calls it a bank, even for just the items, I think. It's been a while since I played that game, though. I need to finish it. I didn't even get that far into it. I was really enjoying it, too. And then I just, I don't know, busy person. Didn't have time. Do you love Mystery Dungeon? It's a great game, honestly. I've only played a little bit of the original one on the Game Boy Advance, or at least the original that we got in America. I don't know if there were other ones other places in the world. Um, but then the, the one for the Switch I played, like I said, a, a bit of, a bit more than I played on the Game Boy. It was really, really enjoying it, but I didn't get to get that far. Isn't the bank for money? Maybe, but I thought the bank did both but i could be mistaken like i said i haven't played much of it and when i did play it it was whenever it first came out so uh, i could be i could be just forgetting misremembering details that's certainly possible is this the beginning of the end of the world? Probably, honestly. <laughs> Yo timer is about to have a heart attack. I hope not, man. I kind of like this old dude. Gordon,我先するのは一つの指輪じゃ。かつて、おじいさまの指にあったあの。そう。キトレルの指輪です。<laughs> あれでコルドロンを止めてしまえば、たとえ王でも命令はできまい。それは今どこに？ティトラ。妖精の国にあるの。私が忍び込んで指輪を取り返します。何を言われます？ユベトさん。ユボワ？I Ah, uh, means ring, okay. Japanese for ring, I'm assuming. It looks like a Japanese word, at least. You heard it so many times in the sub? Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Japanese, gotcha. My Japanese vocabulary is trash. <laughs> I spent a lot of time learning how to read katakana. Uh, well, hiragana mostly. And then uh, some time learning to read katakana. And then just kind of 
failed in the whole <laughs> vocabulary section of uh, of learning. So yeah, <laughs> and even now, like I haven't I haven't looked at Hiragana or Katakana in probably like two years at this point or something. So I am uh, woefully out of uh, practice on that. Okay, yeah, so honestly, her damage output really doesn't seem all that bad. The more we play with her, the more I'm liking her. It's still just going to take getting used to the not having range in the normal attack. Having to, uh, carrots? Yes, all the carrots. Um, having to either do the, the combo attack or the homing attack to get range. Uh, more carrots, please? I want... Uh, I mean, onions are fine. What do we need to make painkiller again? I don't remember. We can look that up, though. That is super easy. Text, alchemy, painkiller. Cubsbane or carrots. Okay, so yeah, really, we just want more carrots. Although... We have some Cubsbane, and we're not using it for anything else right now. We also have all of this. So we might as well... I hate muggles, man. I don't know why. I just do. So fuck it. I, I know they provide more experience than the Mulberries. I think it's because they give us the seed. And it's like... I just... I don't want to deal with it. So we're going to do that. One Mulberry. And then... Take that, mix with the Cubs Bane. That'll give us a little bit of inventory space and some painkiller, which will be handy for later. You try to learn Japanese reading here, Hiragana and Katakana was so hard for you, but some of the vocabulary suck. See, I actually learn uh, Hiragana and Katakana fairly easily. Not like, I'm not going to pretend like I didn't spend, you know, dozens of hours just staring at characters. Um, but I, that came to me relatively easy, though. Um, but the vocabulary is what didn't stick for me. I tried a few different methods, right? Like I bought some Japanese learning books and did some courses online. And uh, I even, I bought some manga in Japanese because I prefer, or I, I, I like anime and manga and things like that. So I read some, some low reading level uh, stuff in Japanese. And like, I, I don't know. It's just no matter what I did, I just, the vocabulary didn't stick for me. There's also the whole problem with, you know, uh, Japanese and English being completely different in sentence structure on top of obviously the vocabulary and things being different so translating full sentences is a bit of a pain in the ass even if your vocabulary is decent so like that also kind of I think hampered uh, my ability to learn it but I, I honestly like I just needed I need to spend more time with it is the thing and like yeah probably from playing too many games you only got it as far as the basics and like 12 in the numbers yeah i used to i used to have the numbers memorized as far as vocabulary went ichi ni san yan go roku hachi no nana hachi something was it was ju 10 or was ju 9 I don't remember. Like, like I said, I used to I used to have the numbers memorized, um, and a handful of words. I, I remember some of them, especially like the the ones that the words that came from English, like uh, pensu. You know, super easy. But yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. But yeah, no, I don't know. My said vocabulary bad. <laughs> It's the opposite for you. You learn language by listening to them. Same with English. Dry theory kills you. I tried, like, at work, the position that I used to be in, I was able to listen to audio a fair bit, like, you know, music or, or podcasts or whatever. Um, so I used to, every once in a while, load up some vocabulary lesson audio tapes, basically. And that helped some, I feel like, but... Honestly, I, I think for me personally, a so an interactive form of learning is best, I think. Like uh, a video game or, or, I don't know, something along those lines. We're going to make another healing set of healing potions. 
I hate using them this early, but uh, we don't have any food because I forgot to plant a seed during that encounter. And we're using up the last of the healing tonic right there. There's this game that's in Kickstarter right now. It's a, a language learning game. And uh, I was going to back it, but they didn't know when they would get Japanese complete, so I didn't end up doing it. Thankfully, it met its goal anyway, so like the game will be made. I just hope that they, they do do Japanese one, because it, it tries to simulate, in a way, moving to a country, right? Like, you're there, and 99% of everything is just in that language, you know? So it's, it's like going to another country. It's that kind of immersive learning experience is kind of what they're trying to go for. And uh, I think, honestly, that would work fairly well for me. So I'm, I'm hoping that the game ends up, or the dev team ends up doing, doing Japanese. Um, they mentioned wanting to, and I, I hope that they do. Is that enough to grow? I hope it was. Yes, awesome. A language learning game where <laughs> there's actually there are actually a handful of those out there um, For instance for Katakana and Hirakana uh, I didn't play a whole lot of it But there's a game that I have on Steam for PC that I that I downloaded um, And it's it's an RPG like a turn-based RPG game, but in order to be able to attack or do anything you have to like Pick the right hiragana or katakana, depending on the game that you're playing, for whatever's, like, on the screen at the moment. And, uh, so, like, you know, that's kind of interesting. And then there's also on Switch, I have a game where it's, like, an infinite runner. But instead of, like, ducking or jumping or whatever, you have to pick the right katakana or hiragana for whatever's coming up on the screen to be able to, like, dodge it or whatever. And, like, yeah. You need something more immersive, you know? Yeah, and that's why, like, I really think, uh, I, I really think that one game that's on, that's on Kickstarter is a cool idea, but, um, like I said, I don't know if they're going to end up getting Japanese in there or not. I hope they do. You think you heard about that one? Yeah. Does the game have a Spanish option? Uh, the one on Kickstarter, I'm pretty sure it does. I'm fairly certain it does. Because it's, a, it's an English team that's making it. And uh, the English-Germanic family of languages are a lot easier to, you know, when you're an English speaker, it's a lot easier to go to one of those other languages. So those were like their main focuses for languages were things like French, Spanish, I imagine German, although I'm not sure, etc. Um, and Japanese was like a stretch goal that they, that they wanted to do because, you know, a lot of people requested it. What's that Kickstarter game called? Do you remember? I don't, but I can probably find it real quick. Kickstarter. Oh, no. It helps if I can type. Uh, was it L2? L2 Speak is the name of the one that I was looking at. Um, the languages that have already met their goals are French, Spanish, German, and Italian. Um, so those ones are unlocked already. Oh, okay. So Japanese has met its stretch goal for a demo for Japanese. I don't know how far they're going to end up taking that, but hopefully the entire game. But anyways, L2 Speak, and it's supposed to be coming out for iOS and Android at some point. Uh, awesome. We weren't paying attention to the game and our muggle rotted. It's fine. Whatever. But yes, L2 Speak is the name of it and it looks really interesting whenever they do the japanese demo at least i will definitely be taking a look at it then um because although i would love to learn spanish and uh i would love to learn more french and refresh what little knowledge i i have on french japanese is the only language that i like uh really want to learn at the moment and that's just because i like so much japanese media It'd be really neat to be able to, you know, watch an anime and not have the sometimes poor translation forced on upon me. As well as, uh, I like importing books from Japan. Well, manga and books and things like that. And it'd be nice to be able to, again, read those in their untranslated versions. Not the sometimes very poorly done translated version. And not even to mention, you know, video games, man. There are so many video games that have been just butchered their translations. Um... 
especially early on, you know? Like the Final Fantasy games and stuff like that, their translations obviously are passable, but their original Japanese sometimes is just like a, a completely different storyline to what to what we get with the, the translations, and it would be really cool to not have to deal with that. Why is my power taking so long to regen this time, man? I thought we had the power stone so we didn't have to wait so long. <laughs> also, why are there so many soldiers? Gosh, y'all are annoying. Uh, Cyclone. That should take care of most of you. And then a Rotten Muggle. Oh, nice. Full heal. Oh, dude, he's dead too? Hell yeah. And if we have any more seeds to grow, I don't know if we do, but they'll definitely grow with as much shit as there is flying around. Doesn't look like it. What we can do really quick, as much as I hate muggles, we can eat it quickly before the shit disappears. Uh, I said eat it quickly before the shit disappears, and then plant it. There we go. Maybe we'll get some seeds from here, too. Just another muggle. Exactly what I always wanted. <laughs> I mean, look, it's something. I shouldn't be upset about it. New text added to the archive. archive. A fluffy dessert made with light cream. Egg, muggle, and cheese. Okay. Could be good. Is it like a cheesecake sort of thing or something? Is, I heard a squeak. Is that a carrot? No, just an onion. All right. Absorb some stuff, please. Is that everything? That might have been everything. Okay, let's get these muggles down. We will eat them and then, I don't know, maybe throw their seeds into a level zero material or something. Because we are, like, out of inventory space, man. Level zero. Thank you. Level seed. We have healing potions, so I'm just going to eat this muggle for the experience right now instead of saving it for later for a heal. And I'm also going to probably do a bad thing and just dump it in there as well. Just, I just want to get rid of it. Alright, inventory. How bad is everything laid out? Not that bad. We have two carrots. I would still love to take more carrots with me, though. I don't know if that's going to be possible. No, probably not. Damn. Okay. Oh, well. It's fine. Uh, we are going to get at least one of those silver coins, though, here. And we may have already picked up one or two. I could check, but half the time that menu takes forever to load, so fuck that. Uh, but that means we'll be able to make our grilled lamb, hopefully, which is a takeout food. Uh, so we can use it as a heal, but also just gives us a bunch of experience, which is, you know, A+. plus. Oh my god, there's so many. See, this is the other reason why I think the, the lag problems have more to do with the, the, um, whatchamacallit. Ah, uh, no! Okay, well, I guess that lamb chop is now for heals, not for cooking. Damn it, dude. I hit the wrong button. I'm very upset with myself. Oh, well. Can't do anything about it, I suppose. Uh, I forget what I was saying. Uh, do we just make another healing potion? Or how far along is that? That's at two. And what do we need for the elixir? What level do we need? Eight. I don't think we're going to get one that high. Two. That's napalm. We can make more painkiller, though. Painkiller still comes in handy. I, I would rather have elixir. But that gives us a little bit of space in our inventory. Do we have any Cubsbane? Because we should use Cubsbane instead of that for painkiller. Pick up the seed. We can't pick up the seed. Okay, throw something on the ground or just eat the mulberry for the experience. We'll do that. Pick up the muggle seed. Um, do, 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 do. Zero into muggle seed and into mulberry seed and then that into cubsbane I think 
will give us another another dose of painkiller. Yes, okay. It's a lot of painkiller, but whatever. And another onion, it's fine. We'll just leave that. We may disagree on beefaroni, but are you the only one who thinks they've been stingy on the cheese for mac and cheese? I haven't been eating Kraft mac and cheese. I do think, to be fair, I do agree with you that Kraft is better than the off-brand. Um, but I don't think it's a large enough difference to justify the cost difference. So I usually buy generic in that case. Um, so I've been eating generic. And actually, I think the generic has been giving more cheese lately. But I don't have an opinion on Kraft because I haven't had it in, in quite a while. I wouldn't be surprised if they are doing that sort of thing, though. A lot of companies are doing that sort of crap. Hey, Nate, what's up, man? Uh, Catboy and Optijack both said thank you for the gift sub last night, man. You weren't here whenever they stopped in, but yes. You need to learn to make your own. It's actually really easy. Um, if you... Like, there's the, if you want that style of mac and cheese, it's actually really easy to do. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, kind of pay attention to the story while I'm talking. Whenever you said Ingwe, I just imagine it with like a shaking fist, like Ingwe. <laughs> oh, Mercedes, stop being a bitch. Anyways. Yeah, so the easy method for... You love making baked mac and cheese. I honestly prefer non-baked. But anyways, the easy way to make craft style mac and cheese. Um, so the reason why American cheese and... Uh, uh, da -da -da -da, that, that, that other type of processed cheese, I forget the name of, that melts really well. The reason why they melt very well is because they have certain chemicals in it that make them melt and mix into things extremely well right and fun fact processed cheeses heavily processed cheeses like craft singles and stuff like that have um no not cheddar not cheddar it's a, uh, it starts with a v the name brand does holy shit we're dead already um the name brand starts with a v i can't remember it off the top of my head Velveeta. thank you nate anyways the reason why they melt so well is because they have this chemical in it and highly processed ones have a lot of extra of that chemical in it. So, if you want to easily make mac and cheese at home, stovetop style mac and cheese, all you need to do is cook your macaroni a little bit undercooked, dump some milk in it, in the mac and cheese, throw in a couple slices of American cheese or a chunk of Velveeta, whatever you prefer, and then if you want, if you want, you can just throw in a bunch of Velveeta or, or American cheese. But if you want to spice it up with like some good cheese, thankfully there is enough extra chemicals in processed cheese that you can then just throw in like a handful of Kraft, uh, or I'm sorry, not Kraft. You can just throw in like a handful of cheddar or Gouda or Munster or whatever the hell you want. And it will just melt beautifully and stir in perfectly with the rest of it like you don't need to do anything extra to it it just works that's all you have to do man it is great um and that's for like simple stove top style mac and cheese uh it's actually not hard to make like a a uh, bechamel sauce which is like you make a roux and then um not the person roux but you make the 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 thing called a roux and then mix in uh, some milk and, and cheese and stuff. That's not hard to do either, but an easy stovetop option is literally just, yeah, throw in a couple slices of American cheese, a handful of whatever cheese you want for flavor, and uh, there you go, man. Mix it all up. The one thing that you need to, to remember, though, is cheese can separate if it gets too hot, so it's a good idea to um, bring the, the milk and noodles to uh to temperature like to 
not to a boil, but to close to a boil, and then just take it off the heat, stir in your cheese and stuff then. And then if you need to add more heat, just put it on the warm burner or put your burner on the medium, or I'm sorry, the, the minimum setting um, is, is usually enough to get it to, to melt to melt all in because yeah you don't want to if you apply too much heat the the cheese will separate and then it, it'll just be you'll be upset spaghetti again um but yeah where is this dude that we're trying to kill mercedes you are over here stop shooting your your little bitch thing at us dude your bitch cannon and just die already okay we need to run away and heal you need me to put this on Discord, definitely adding to your cookie notes. It really is it really is super easy, man. Like I'll I'll send you a message if I remember. If not, just remind me to send you a message. Um, but once you do it a couple times, you'll you'll you won't need like a recipe. And I, I don't have like measurements for you or anything because I never use measurements or anything. I just cook by feel, essentially. Um, so yeah. But I'm I'm telling you, it it really is like it's it's legit easy to do. Um yeah. And it's it's stovetop style mac and, mac and cheese. Uh, it's it's nothing fancy, but when you just want like a quick meal and don't want to eat it out of a box or whatever, or if you don't have a box, yeah. The other great thing about knowing how to do a quick and easy mac and cheese like that stovetop mac and cheese is you don't have to use macaroni at that point. You know, you want to have cheesy rice. There you go. You can make a super easy cheese sauce to dump over rice. You want to have cheesy potatoes. Super easy cheese sauce to dump over potatoes coming up. You know what I mean? Like, because at the end of the day, that's all it is. It's just a cheese sauce, right? The the milk, the American cheese or Velveeta or whatever, and a handful of... Fuck, we died. A handful of that, of course. Um, and then, yeah, then you can just dump it on whatever. And it's great. I like it. It's good stuff. So close. I know. So close, too, dude. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it turns out uh, the first level or two was just early game shenanigans her defense does seem kind of trash <laughs> i'm glad we crafted all that painkiller because i foresee us needing that we're also gonna have to i think try and focus a little bit on getting her um her whatchamacallit up her health level i think that's gonna be really good for her i want to get like on this side of you people and use a cyclone and maybe another one actually just we have all of this magic power right now we might as well use it come on oh where are you going how regen faster please ah fuck you guys man and the thing this is how much damage we're taking with painkiller you know Imagine if we weren't on painkiller right now. We would be screwed. <laughs> like, holy hell, man. She's actually taking, like, a ton of damage. Uh, Butterfly, do you want to spawn in quicker, please? So that I can absorb you? <laughs> I see we also got the Phozon release ability. That is nice. Uh, let's take a bite of lamb. I hate how Mercedes doesn't get, like... Stunned by the, uh, by the, the, whatchamacallit, like, at all. Stop eating! Why can you eat when you're being hit? I can't eat when I'm being hit by shit. <laughs> uh, okay, we are out of painkiller. Use it again. Mercedes, you are going to die, and I am going to relish in it. Nate, I know you sent your recipe and I want to read it, but I can't right now. No, stop eating. Why do you get to eat food in the middle of battle, man? I have to run away and make sure I'm not touched. Otherwise, the food goes flying out of my hands. It's bullshit and I am angry about it. Oh, she's so close. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we're alive. Thank God. Cyclone it up a little bit. And then another butterfly. Give me, give me, give me, give me. All right. Butterfly is done. And no, you don't. You're going down. You're dead. G freaking G, lady. 
All right, so for nades, you do the thing for cheese sauce, mix things in, then mix it with noodles, put in baking pan top with breadcrumbs and shredded cheddar and put it in an oven until cheese is brown. Yeah, yeah, that's like a classic style. Uh, well, most people, I think, would do a bechamel for the cheese sauce in that case instead of like the, the simple stovetop cheese sauce. Anyways, uh, point is, that's, that's a pretty common baked mac and cheese recipe. I don't know why. I just personally like stovetop mac and cheese more than I like baked mac and cheese. It's it's just a me thing. Like <laughs> I think most people kind of prefer the other way around, but that's that's how I am though. So you know, which is convenient for me because it's easier, quicker at least, to make the stovetop one purely. Yes, yes, you can. But if you're going to be cooking something in the oven for a long period of time, you'd probably be better doing a uh, bechamel sauce instead of the simple one, um, just because the flour will help thicken it up even more. And, uh, yeah. If you're going to be cooking something in the oven for a long time. If you pre-cook the, the potatoes, you could make a, a uh, like, potato au gratin or something um, pretty easily with that, but... Yeah, because you don't want to like boil the cheese sauce because that could that could separate it and it would get it would still taste good but it would have like some chunks it would be like chunky with like some grease and stuff separated out and it's just it's just better not to you know? use Velveeta and a bunch of cheddar yeah 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 like I said Velveeta or American cheese that's the that's the trick to get any sort of cheese to melt easily into um, milk. That's the that's the biggest part, the biggest trick. If you didn't want to, like say you don't like Velveeta or American cheese, you can actually just buy the chemical that makes it mix in really nicely. I forget the name of it, but I could find it out. Um, and like you can just buy that and then put like a teaspoon into your food or whatever. Like that is an option. But I like American cheese as part of a cheese sauce or on sandwiches. That's about the only time I think American cheese is any good. But um. So I, I don't mind throwing, you know, a slice or two down in with whatever to make a cheese sauce. It doesn't bother me. You'll buy legit like three or four cheddars. All the cheeses, man. Just 20 cheese fucking mac and cheese. That's what we're making. Save your game. Yes, please. We definitely will. So, uh, I'm trying, the other night I, I mentioned the fact that, for people that don't know, I quit smoking a long time ago, and vaping for that matter, I don't do any of that, but I still enjoy nicotine, but I don't want, you know, the cancer slash health problems with the other ones, so uh, I use nicotine replacement, I was doing lozenges for a long time, but I'm trying nicotine pouches. And I didn't like the ones that I had, so I'm trying a different brim. And they are much better, I'm happy to say. But they, like, it dries the hell out of your mouth if you... <laughs> whenever you first put it in your mouth. It's just, it's weird. Uh, okay, I think we have a coin now, I said. So, fingers crossed, we can make our grilled lamb, please. That's all I want in life is some grilled grilled lamb. You've done close to that to, to 20 cheese mac and cheese. I uh, usually don't mix my cheeses too much, to be honest. Just because, like, I don't know. I, I kind of just want the flavor of a cheese, you know? Like, I, I want to know what a Munster mac and cheese tastes like or a Gouda mac and cheese or a... Uh, 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 I can't think of any other names of cheeses right now for some reason, but... <laughs> but yeah, so I tend not to mix them too much, but uh, I can't deny that... Like, five cheese mac and cheese packets that I've tried have been good. Or, like, I've had five cheese pizza, and, like, that's delicious, of course, so... I'm sure there's something to that. Do we just make an omelette and say, fuck, growing up the chicken? I think that's probably what we're gonna do. But first, let's spend whatever money we have first on this, because this is what I want. Yo, did you guys hear about the Supreme Court justices, though? And oh, that sounds good. Uh, I have not, I don't think. What happened with the Supreme Court justices? I'm hoping this is a good story. 
I'm assuming it is, because you don't sound angry. Now I'm waiting here with, like, bated breath, dude. Come on. What happened? What happened? What happened? Tell me, please. Oh, they got doxxed? Uh, okay, first off, I just want to say, I do not support the doxing of people, period. You know, no matter how good or bad they are. Just throwing that out there. Um, but, I think the protests that are happening is a good thing. <laughs> I will say that we need we need more people standing up for their uh, for their rights. Uh, leave the restaurant. Yes, I don't think we have anything else that we do here. You do not condone that either, but you also find it hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I like I said, I, I do not under any circumstances condone doxing people, but uh, but I'm glad that things are being done, and I hope that their decisions are reversed. Honestly, I hope they are just restructured. I think we need a Supreme Court of some kind, right? I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and say that we don't need some body of government deciding, you know, what laws are because the, the, the Congress and Senate are, should not be in the position to decide what's legal and not legal. They're not lawyers, they're not law experts. You know, we need people that are to make that sort of decision is what I'm saying. But I don't think that any president, whether it's a president I like or not, should be able to pick multiple people to sit in one of the highest positions of power for a country until that person either decides to quit or dies. That is ridiculous, especially whenever a president is one that did not win the majority vote and does not stand for what the majority of people of a country stand for. Regardless of what side you're on, I think that is ridiculous and is not something that should ever take place. Uh, the Supreme Court needs to be restructured and either have term limits or be directly voted on by Americans or whatever country, you know, if you have a similar sort of thing. Um, preferably both. I think they need to be directly voted on by the people of that country and that they should only be able to hold that seat for a predetermined amount of years with a popular vote. I think everything should be determined by popular vote. I see no reason. Back in the day, maybe it's different or whatever. Thank you so much for the five bits noodle. Back in the day, I can maybe see the point of an electoral college. Maybe. Not really, but maybe. You know? Nowadays, I do not see the point in that everything should be decided by majority wins, man. Just whoever gets popular vote wins the freaking thing. Because the way it is now, it can be rigged to hell and back, and it has been from both sides. It's been rigged to hell and back, and that is ridiculous. Just everyone just vote for whatever the fuck they want, and that's what it should be. We are a country. Sure, there's 50 states in this country, but we're supposed to be one united people. But the way it is, man, every district, every state ends up just fighting against each other. And it's stupid. It makes no sense. Like, I'm going to try not to get too big into it, too far into it. But the point is, is that the way things are done in America are dumb. And it should not be that way. And uh, I wish that they would just abolish the Electoral College and set term limits for every position of power. I'm not going to sit here and, and say what the best term limit is for something, because I have no idea, man. I don't know. I, I feel like something like the Supreme Court probably should have a fairly long term limit, but uh, but there needs to be some sort of term limit, you know? RBG, we miss you. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yes, dude. I 100% agree with that one. Yeah, they do have the right to go against the majority of their state, which is a good protection, honestly, but it could be abused. As far as I know, it never has been abused. Um, but the fact that the Electoral College can vote in bad faith is a potential protection if there is, were to be someone to rise to power that is undeniably evil, essentially, right? Like, 
it's 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 possible that <laughs> the people could be tricked into voting for such a thing and so having that protection in there is a decent idea but let's be honest if if a politician can trick the majority of americans uh, an evil politician can can trick the majority of americans into voting for them the chance that they can't trick you know the electoral college into it is is unlikely and there's the potential for corruption there later on i'm trying to pay attention to the story while i'm saying this uh because if i remember correctly the only the only punishment for going against whatever your electoral uh whatever your your uh designated vote is is a large fine so you could technically uh have corruption there where somebody who has you know a lot of money um backing them could secretly because it would be very illegal to do so but could secretly offer payment to a member of the electoral college to win a seat that they should not and again if it's an evil politician what's stopping them from doing that anyways you know what i mean so you couldn't believe that it a nation like the U.S. did that? Me neither, to be honest, but that's what happens when you have a bunch of old, probably corrupt dudes essentially running your country. You love all the details? You mean Trump? I do not like him. I fully admit that. Uh, I do not keep, keep that make... Nope. <laughs> I do not like him one bit, but I don't think any single person, though... Um, is to blame for all of the problems in this country. I believe he certainly did not help any of them. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that is a politician that should have never been in power. But he's not the only one, you know? There's other politicians that I didn't necessarily like, but also won um, the, the seat of president without getting the popular vote. I believe Bush was another one that uh, did not win the popular vote but still held the position of president. So there were so many things wrong with that man. The whole thing is awful. Yeah, dude. And like, I can understand the idea that some people think America needs to be ran like a business, right? And therefore a businessman could be the best option for that. One, I would argue that his business practices um, have shown a pattern of, corrupt, of corruption. And that if you want a businessman running a country, it should not be one that shows a pattern of corruption in their businesses. But that aside, I personally don't agree with the idea that a country needs ran like a business. But I can understand that sentiment. But he was just, in my opinion, a just a shitty person, you know? A president should be held to a higher standard than your normal people. The comments he made were not appropriate in any circumstance. You know, but your normal average, everyday Joe says that sort of thing. And yeah, whatever, you know, they get away with it. It's not that big of a deal. But this is the person leading a country, you know, that is the face of your country to the world. Making comments like he did, you know, like the, the most famous one obviously being, you know, grabbing by the pussy. That is just unacceptable, in my opinion, for any politician any any face of a nation anyone who holds that much power should not be saying things like that and uh yeah the 95 golf trips in four years yeah that's kind of ridiculous too uh and i'm not gonna sit here and defend any single president because i think all of them or i'm not gonna sit here and say that any of them were perfect because at least in my lifetime i don't think any of them have been uh my favorite president that we've had recently has been obama 100 percent but even he did some things in, while he was sitting in power that I 100% disagree with, you know? He, uh, what was the, oh uh, shit, I forget the Fast and, Fast and Furious or something like that was the name of the thing that he did, where like the, the selling uh, guns that were meant to be tracked but then were lost and were used to kill a bunch of people or something like that some sort of mission that he approved upon and uh went horribly horribly south and honestly in my opinion probably should have never been approved anyways you know that's just one example of of a, a something terrible that he did and so every all of them are messed up man all of them like every president we've had have had problems but i don't think that man should have ever been risen to power and uh, I still don't understand how a large portion of people 
can find the things that he said and done okay and even to the point of damn near worshiping the man you know that's the thing that i find crazy i like i just said my favorite president that we've had and and since i've been alive is is obama but i would never buy you know a bunch of obama flags and merch and parade around in it i would never you know have a obama train <laughs> you know things like that are just crazy to me you know that is that is a almost a religious level of of uh of admiration for someone that and i just don't think that's okay for anyone i feel the same way about celebrities too you know i don't own a bunch of celebrity stuff i don't parade around talking about how amazing celebrities are and stuff they're just people you know they're not <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand the worship that people get i don't understand that at all they're basically called as not all of them you know you can there definitely are but it, it's like anything you have your fanatics and I'm not going to sit here and try to bash every Trump supporter or anything like that. Because like you mentioned a, a moment ago, Rue, you can have a differing opinion and that's okay. But whenever your differing opinion harms other people, that's where you kind of have to draw a line. At least for me, you know, that's where I think, okay, this is a problem. Like you can, like with the whole abolishing abortion thing, you know, they have said publicly on here before, I personally am against abortion in 99% of cases. I do not agree with people aborting children unless or it's going to, or aborting pregnancies, I apologize. Unless, you know, it's because going through with the, with the birth would pose significant threat to the mother or in the cases of foul play let's say trying to keep it somewhat pg here um those are the only situations where i i really agree with them with the with the with abortion but whether i like it or not should have no say in what someone else decides to do you know just because what's something um just what's i'm trying to think of another example um okay smoking you know that's a that's a decent example actually it's probably a bad example um rubbing snuff <laughs> right the someone's choice to rub snuff at the end of the day affects no one but them from a health standpoint so i don't think that rubbing snuff should be illegal because as long as they know the risks and they want to take those risks, then they should be allowed to do so. I don't personally agree with it, you know. I think rubbing snuff is a bad decision. It's something that I'm glad I quit because it's a mistake that I've definitely made. Snu uh, tobacco. Uh, whenever you take tobacco and put it in your lip instead of uh, smoking it. Um, anyways... Uh, I, I don't personally agree with it. I don't think it's something most people should do, but I don't think it should be outlawed because that's up to that's up to that person. You know, if they want to harm themselves by rubbing snuff, then that's their prerogative, not mine. And I feel the same way about just about everything. You know, as long as whatever you're doing is not harming those around you, then you should be free to do that thing. And I understand that with abortion, some people want to believe, you know, that's harming a potential life in the form of the fetus or whatever. I totally get that. And I personally agree with that. But again, it's not my decision to make. That is, that is their decision to make with them, their own body, their own choice. Not to mention the fact that by setting this precedence of just taking old laws that have been put in place to protect people and to give us rights by just taking that and letting a couple people decide that we no longer have those rights is a dangerous precedent to set it's one that can very quickly careen out of control you know um another hot topic in america is obviously gun control and uh i i see the arguments from both sides and I, I get where people are coming from on both sides. But it's something that a lot of people are passionate about. 
if they can just go in and remove your right to to an abortion what is stopping them from removing your right for to to bear arms to own guns you know just as an example um and some of the supreme court justices who set the opinion and then abolished the roe v wade calling um have already one of them have already publicly stated that they believe that the landmark decisions allowing the right to contraception um allowing same-sex relationships and same-sex marriage should be abolished as well and again that's a dangerous precedent man removing people's rights and protections are not okay plus why why do we want to go backwards in that way anyways man like it, I'm sorry. It's just the whole thing just annoys the hell out of me, especially whenever you consider that most of the things they're doing aren't even things that the majority of Americans, regardless of what party you're on, agree with. You know, like the the abortion thing, if I remember correctly, it's something like only 30 percent of Americans agreed with the idea of abolishing abortion, yet they did so anyways. Um, and that's just messed up. I, I, I can't say anything else about it. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get too political with it um, because, yeah, but yeah. Anyways, that was that was that very much dangerous. And it could lead to someone thinking they can just decide everything. You know, what's sad is that I'm considering getting a pew pew poo poo a pew pew because I'm scared because they overturned Roe v. Wade. Uh, OK, I see what you're saying. It took me a second to put it uh, to put two and two together with what you were saying there. Uh, but yeah. Just look at Germany. We have some experience with rights and stuff. Yeah. Yep. I didn't really want to get rid of that grape seed, but whatever, man. We'll get more. And I want to pick up some of this other stuff to get rid of anyways. Uh, mulberry seed. That can go in there. Ooh, level six. Is that what we need to make the elixir? Or is it level eight? It must be level eight. So pick up. That's a maple seed. I definitely want to keep that one. I'll get rid of the muggle, though. Take that to seven. Slippery slope. First it's fetuses, then gay rights, then women. All it takes is a single slip to set us back to the Stone Age. Exactly. That's that's what really worries me. I'm glad that there's a handful of states that are uh, have already come out and said, you know, that we are enacting protections immediately for, for abortion and things. But um, the fact of the matter is there's a lot of states doing the opposite. And a lot of states that just aren't doing anything, and that's not okay. Um, yeah. That is the fault, is the reasoning. Statistically, gun owners hurt themselves more than intruders. Gun laws should be way stricter. Yeah. Not to mention the whole no exception thing is harmful to the children they claim they are protecting. That's a whole nother thing, problem with America, IMO, you know? Um, we have a lot of problems with... with with children not being properly taken care of uh not to mention you know with the way our healthcare system is it's uh it's very harmful to everyone there's just there is no good side to this no one's religious i don't care what religion you are that's perfectly fine you are free to practice whatever religion you want but as soon as your religion tells me what i cannot do um that is not okay you know you are free to express yourself and do or not do whatever you want for your religion, but you do not have the right to tell someone else to what they can or can't do because of your religion. Um, and that's just that's just the way it is. That is the one thing that you can never convince me otherwise on, you know? That is, that is, my mind is set on stone. I am open to debate on just about any topic, but... I will never change my mind on your religion telling me or anyone else what they can or can't do with their own bodies and, and their own lives, you know? That is not okay. Under any circumstance. Is it just me, or are people guarding a lot more now than they were earlier in the game? You live in a safe haven state, but if you move to where you plan to move, you're screwed. See, that's a problem. It's Louisiana in the Bible Belt, not to mention no exceptions of... Yeah, 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 yeah. And those are the situations that I didn't want to explicitly slay earlier, but that I uh, 
that I understand and agree with with abortion in. Um, yeah. Say it louder for the people in the back. Uh, let's bite more grilled lamb here just so we can get that out of our inventory now that it's just a bone. Do we have a low-level material or anything? We have a zero. I guess we can just mix it into that. Take it right up to three. Isn't Louisiana one of those hot and humid ones? God, it's got way too many states. Bruh, uh, that's uh, the truth. <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you. I am terrible with geography. Um, I don't even want to mention world geography because, <laughs> you know, unless it's like China, Japan, Korea, Germany, England, Ireland... Uh, that's about it. <laughs> that, that's about all I can point to on a map. Oh, Russia. That's like, oh, Canada, Mexico. Um, sure, because, you know, I live right next to them. Um, but that's it. <laughs> I can't point to anything else on a map. I am terrible with geography, and I, I freely admit that. So, I couldn't even tell you for sure where, um, Louisiana, Louisiana is on the map <laughs> like i'm i'm bad at geography bro i want to take this carrot with us i would rather take this carrot with us than just about anything else we have an onion uh do we have any antidote we do but it looks like it's pretty low maybe we just make another antidote then what does level four in an onion do anything d what is d Delicious? I don't know what D is. Drain. Oh, that's the one that 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 takes um, phosons from from living things around us. Okay. I want to know what this thing is up here. By the way, is why we're going out of the way because I I want to know what this amulet talisman, whatever the hell it is. It's the one that looks like a shoe. That's Italy, right? I know where Italy is. <laughs> now that you mention it, <laughs> looks like a boot. That's, uh, that's Italy. I got that. And then France is around there somewhere, I think. He like said, bad at geography, man. If you're ever on a game show and they have a, uh, a, a geography question, you know the guy to not call. <laughs> because I will be absolutely no help. Um, oh. I think we needed to be a lot closer to them for that to really be of use. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was... I thought it was going to be, like, one of the things you threw on the ground. I didn't realize it was going to be, like, affect things on screen. Um, this is also a level 5 encounter, so we can probably go ahead and grow the Naple. That should work here, I think. No, the state... I knew what you were talking about, Rue, but I honestly don't remember which one looks like a boot. If I looked at a map, I could probably figure it out with your little hint there. But, like... Just trying to think in my head, where's the where's the state that looks like a boot? Yeah, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Bold of you to assume I know what your states look like. Same. Bold of you to assume I know what my states look like. <laughs> I know where, like, ten states are, man. You know, I know, like, Texas, um, California, uh, okay, probably a lot less than ten. The, I know Florida, right? I got Florida. Um, the ones that I live in and that directly border them, I know most of them. <laughs> Not all of them. Um, that's that's about it. That's what I got, man. The four corners. I don't know the four corner states. I know that's a thing. Like four states that are all bordering each other. Um, but I don't know where that's at. Or I don't know what the name of the states are, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, geography, not my thing. Never has been, doubt it ever will be. <laughs> You're in one of them? Well, okay. I couldn't tell you which one <laughs> if I looked at it. I know you. I, I'm pretty sure yours is very squarish, so I might be able to figure it out, but I'm assuming all of the four corner states are pretty uh, squarish, actually. So, yeah. Close to Georgia? Louisiana is more to the east. Yeah, I do think it's somewhere over here in the east. I live in the east, so I do think it's somewhere over here. But I don't know, like, where at exactly. So, again, I'm useless. I <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> oh, you're still alive. I was kind of hoping that Cyclone would kill you guys. Not gonna, not gonna lie. South and North Carolina? Um, I don't know. I know they're on the coast. 
I know that much about South and... Ah, oh, dude. Your axe is too powerful. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, I know they're on the coast, but I don't know exactly where they're at. I uh, just noticed, though, that it has been another hour. So we are going to take a quick break, guys. We're not going to go anywhere. We'll be back in three to five minutes. But we're going to run the ad and uh, maybe take a quick geography lesson. And <laughs> that's about it. Valkyrie, you can probably name more states than me, honestly. Um, or at least where they're at. Because... I know, like, I recognize all these state names, obviously, but I can't point at any of them besides, like, California. Where's the state song at? Oh, God. I need to go back to, like, middle school, figure this stuff out. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back in, like, three to five minutes. Don't go anywhere. Um... Crap, yeah, so I don't know, like, that power-up, if that... It's obviously temporary, we we discovered that. But does the, the amount of time that it lasts have something to do with... How, how much damage we take, or... I mean, that'd be a nice mechanic if it is. Reward people who are actually decent at the game. Not me, obviously, I'm terrible at the game, but, you know. <laughs> people who aren't terrible, they can get a little reward for it, that's nice. So, ah, oh, dude, is this shooting like four or five shots now? Nice, okay. I don't see anybody else on the radar, so we might be all right. Let's pick up the health, because we are on our last um, life here. Okay, dude's just spawn in. We knew of that. We were, we were, we were ready for it. And they're spawning in behind us now. Excellent. That is good game design right there, man. Excellent game design. Things just spawning in randomly all over the place, especially behind you or on top of you, is exactly what I like to see in my video games. You know, if a game didn't do that, I would be disappointed, honestly. You know, what's the fun if it's, uh... You're not just dying to cheap tricks left and right. Okay. Yep, in a, in a tight corridor with a big dude. Oh, and a, a wall popped up behind us, too, so we can't... Oh, okay. And another one behind us now? Yep. Very, very good. Very good. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Glad we had that little section there. <laughs> I don't... I just... With some of these games, I don't know who... Who makes them, who plays them, and just thinks, you know what? This is what... This is what gamers want, you know? This is what anybody who plays video games... They, they obviously want really cheap sections of just waves of enemies spawning in. Especially big guys that are really hard to kill. And, you know, we're just going to have a bunch of them spawn in right on top of the player. And then we're going to close them in so we can't even try to to escape or run away or get to any sort of vantage point or anything like that. No, 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 no. No, we're just going to spawn them in right on top of you. I died again. In the interest of not replaying the same exact section of the game over and over and over again, we may end up having to drop the difficulty down which is just terrible i feel terrible doing it not because there's actually anything wrong with playing on easy mode or, or or normal if that's your jam you know it's just because i normally play games on on hard or even the hardest difficulty depending on the game you know so for me personally it just ah kind of kind of eats me away a little bit on the inside having to do it, but I think we're going to have to, man. I don't want to have to keep replaying the same section over and over again. We're going to we're going to give it one more go before we uh before we succumb to to turning it down. Can we just hit the guy maybe? That would definitely help. All right, we can we can start our our adventure maybe by not dying instantly in the first area. Okay, there is this uh, button to help us quickly turn around, which I do appreciate that, actually. That's kind of nice, you know? Having a, a button that just turns you around instantly in this sort of game, I feel like is a godsend. But when you're when you're this bad at the game, I don't know how much it actually helps. <laughs> okay, hit the wrong button. I'm trying to shoot guys. I didn't even see your bullet. What the heck? Your bullets are invisible. Really good. All right, so we still have our bomb. 
Thankfully, the game didn't glitch out this time and make us give that up. And we didn't lose a life, so we're, we're, we're doing better than we were last time, if nothing else. Not by a whole lot, I feel like, but you know, better is better, regardless of how, how little that better may be. We can go ahead and pick up the other health pack now, since we are so low. Might as well try not to lose a life. Right, and we know after we kill so many of these dudes that another big dude, or not another big dude, a, a wave of dudes is going to spawn in at some point here. We do have a dodge roll. I could be trying to, to dodge roll out of the way of these shots. Um, the camera's kind of... I don't like that we don't have an independent camera and aim either. That is like a cardinal sin in this style of game, in my opinion. You know, it, I think it would have been better as like a twin stick shooter almost. Lift the camera angle up a little bit higher since it's already a pretty high angle on the camera here. And then just let us use one stick to control the character and the other stick to pick which direction we're shooting. Just make it full twin stick. I honestly think that would have been a better design decision. All right, he's dead. And here is everybody spawning behind us now. We're just going to ignore the big dude if possible and just get rid of all these little dudes that are that are shooting us in the ass. All right, use the, the quick turn button. All right, well, I said we were going to ignore the big dude, but I guess everybody else is around the corner and they're not going to path to us. So, you know. Like, what do you what do you do whenever they're... I see your message, Noodle, and I'm like, oh god, did something break? Like, <laughs> with the stream? I was like, did I did I do something wrong? Did I forget to, to hit a button somewhere or something? But, uh, no, you're talking about work, so <laughs> I'm sorry, love, that you're having trouble at work. I wish you could work with the, 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 uh, with, with, you know, or at a place where everything's not broken all the time and just trash. Because, yeah. Uh, we're going to take a painkiller, I think. Because we died once in this encounter already. And because I just want a little bit more inventory space. And we only have one use of it left anyways. Uh, so, another thing that we're going to try to do is magic, dude. Use the fuck out of our magic. Because we're getting a bunch of Fozons. We have nowhere else to use them at the moment. Like, we don't have any seeds or anything. Um... So we might as well make use of them however we can. I mean, shit, we're already level 15 and we're only, what, chapter 2, chapter 3? And in Velvet Story, like, this girl got some magic, okay? So we might as well make use. Get on the other side of everyone and just cyclone the hell out of them, man. Just <laughs> light them up with it. It's okay. It's not okay. Everything shouldn't break. You should be allowed to have a nice, uh, a nice, well, break <laughs> from work every once in a while. Everyone needs time to rest while they're working. Want to talk about things we need more of in America? Workers' rights. You know what I'm saying? Unions are cool, but, uh... They only go so far, and it doesn't help whenever basically no one has one. Just saying. <laughs> That's not a thing that happens here. Yeah, well, it should be, though. You should be able to get a nice break and relax for a bit. Time to unwind. Jobs are stressful. I don't care what you do for a living. It's most likely stressful, man. And you deserve time to get away from it. Uh, do you want to die, Valkyrie Lady? Thank you. I think that's everyone. Wait, is it done already? Holy shit, that went so much better than last time, man. I don't know how that went so much better, but I'm not going to complain either. I'm kind of mad we didn't plant that Naple, because we totally could have. Uh... Oh my god, healthcare. Yes, dude. I don't know how... Speaking of things that I don't understand how it's not a thing yet, like... Healthcare. Why? <laughs> like, why do we still have the most ridiculous healthcare system in the world? That's 
Um, oh shit, there is so much, dude. Okay, you know what? I take it back. We can maybe still plant the Snapple. Pick up the Mulberry. Pick up the Cubs Bane. Break that open. Um, sadly, it seems like I have absorbed basically all of them. But it's fine. We will just uh, do some Phozon release to get it to, to grow, I suppose. That is fine. Not to mention we're supposed to have separation of church and state. And how has that worked out for us? <laughs> That's a funny joke, man. <laughs> Separation of church and state. What is that? That doesn't even mean anything around here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, more HP for her? Uh, honestly, I mean, the extra 10% HP, because her defense doesn't seem that great, would be nice. But having not running out of energy constantly, I think is better for us right now. We'll keep it, like, a hold of it for, for the time being. But, um... Yeah, man, I don't know. I We might just end up not using it. Land of the free in the country where dreams come true. <laughs> yeah. Same. Hey, Rue, thank you so much for the 100 bits, dude. I really appreciate that. As I've mentioned before, every little bit helps. And uh, that's, that's a lot of a little bit. So thank you, dude. We are better off than us, but still, look at your... Look at looking at you, Bavaria. I <laughs> completely misread that. I was looking at you, and I was like, Bravada? B Bavario? I don't. What? Oh, Bavaria. Got it. I <laughs> I got there. Took me a moment, but I got there. Oh shit! I overtook Noodle. It's fine. Noodle has bits that she can donate if she really wants to. For one, and for two, you guys are allowed to outbid her. It's fine. S stop letting her. If being fake annoyed uh <laughs> bother you <laughs> like uh, bits are a good thing it helps the stream it helps it and at the end of the day it helps noodle too so she's just uh i love her dearly but she's a baby <laughs> see the sad eyes there She's fine. Thank you for the bits. You don't have to feel bad about bits, Rue. You're a baby. I'm your baby. Baby. <laughs> you weirdo. Alright, dump. I'm just eating and dumping everything right now because I want to keep that uh, pendant just in case we change our mind and decide we want it. But, like... I still don't even really know if we do. Plus, I'm trying to keep as many carrots as I can with us. Or turn them into health potions or, or elixirs or whatever. Just something, you know? Uh, the onion would be nice, but nah. We don't have space for it. Alright, let's get to that boss finally, man. Where is the boss anyways? So, there's a shop there. But chance of us actually buying anything is basically zero. Alright, so we want to go back this way. And then down again. Not the shop, but the other one. And then... Go down and to the right. Okay, we got this. You just got a notification for a song from Ozzy Osbourne and Jack Black? Really? I didn't even know Jack Black was still making... Oh, you misread. Okay, so what was it actually? Jeff Beck. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> who the hell is Jeff Beck? Nope, I'm at a loss here. You don't know either? N neither does Rue. No one knows who Jeff Beck is. I mean, I hope the song's good. I'm not a huge, like, Aussie fan or anything like that, but, you know, cool music is cool music. I probably would have preferred Jack Black, just because he's, he's a cool dude. The song is called Patient Number 9. Interesting. I I'm sure I'll end up giving it a listen. Maybe uh, doing doing that song with uh, Post Malone a few years back got him in the mood to make music again. Oh god, bombs everywhere. Hi, I really don't want to fight you guys, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna Cyclone you and try to murder you that way. Does that work for everyone? I think that works for everyone. Excellent. Someone's still alive? Oh nope, we got round two. That's what's going on here. Uh, speaking of just letting magic deal with all you guys, there we go. <laughs> you 
<laughs> you got excited for a minute because who doesn't like Jack Black? Yep. There's a song by Jack Black and Jack White called Jack Gray. I've never heard of Jack White and I've never heard of that song, but I want to listen to it now just because that sounds hilarious. Do I have a seed? I don't think I do, but okay, no, I don't. You do know that one, Rue? I've never heard of it somehow. Tribute is so amazing. Yes, yes it is. I love uh, that TikTok that, that got pretty big of... Uh, that that uh, dude with the with his band that was like doing covers and stuff, trying to get Jack Black to uh, duet them for the longest time, and Jack Black finally did, and it was just that was a good time, man. All right, uh, is it level what? That makes painkiller. Do we need more painkiller? How much do we have? Go into the menu here. We need more bags, is what we need. Okay, we don't have. We only have the one dose of painkiller, so let's go ahead and make some painkiller. Level two mixed with that, and then we'll leave that on the ground for a moment. Uh, okay, we got a Naple Seed. We want to keep that one, probably. Muggle Seed, I'm fine getting rid of that. Fuck the Muggles. Um, okay. We are actually out of materials. We have the level 10, though, so I guess we can dump it into that. That's fine. Oh, we have Cubs Bane. Doesn't that make... Doesn't that make Painkiller too? We should have just done that instead, but whatever. Um, I don't really want to get rid of the Grape Seed, but I think we will. Just to make space. So pick that up. And then Cubs Bane. Is that Painkiller? It is. I'm going to make another Painkiller. I was going to make Healing Potions, but whatever. And then we'll pick up... Okay, Order of Operations here. We got Painkiller. That's important. Carrots are important for stuff. Material and then Naple Seed. We don't have enough for the Naple Seed. I guess we'll make another regular set of healing potion. I was hoping to be able to make more elixirs for later, but for now, that'll be okay. And that lets us pick up like the most things. You get a half hour. Oh, okay. You need me to do math. You clocked out at 740. You had to clock back in at 748 and didn't go to clock back in until 803. What time do I go back? Oh, okay. So you got to take eight minutes of your break. But you need to take, uh, but you need to take a half hour. So yeah, 22 minutes. So, uh, 25, 825. Yeah. Yeah. What Valkyrie said. Exactly. Okay. I don't remember what encounter level this was, but we can, if we save some magic, we can use foes on release. So I'm just going to plant the Naple. And hope for the best. <laughs> Get fucked, dudes. What was that about conserving magic again? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mulberry Seed. I mean, we're still pretty low level. Mulberry Seed's probably not a bad idea. Well, if we, if we have enough left over after growing this, we'll... Uh, We'll plant the mulberry seed, but I don't think there's going to be enough bosons floating around. Yeah, no, there's not. Okay. Steak tartare. Raw steak. Yummy. A great dish that'll perk up your ears. Lamb chop and egg. This costs one aerial coin. God, there's so much stuff on the ground, and we have no inventory space. We're going to eat the naples right away because we can't carry them. That rosimile will let us grow a mulberry, though. Okay, eat the naple. Just all of the Naple. We're doing it more for experience than anything else, because space issues are an issue. Um. Okay, I kind of want... Oh, God. We are, like, overflowing with potions is actually what the problem is here, huh? And we don't have any base level material, so I'm going to drop a carrot, pick up the level zero material... Mix that with the uh, Naple Core. I almost called it Apple. I mean, that's essentially what a Naple is, right? It's close enough, at least. And then... Pick up the Mulberry Seed. Plant the Mulberry Seed. Pick up the Rosimile. Plant the Rosimile. Pick up the Naple and eat it. it. Hasn't been that bad of a day, but a lot has still happened. You're so excited to be off tomorrow. I'm glad... 
you get to go or be off tomorrow. It's 8 p.m. over there. On the East Coast, at least, where we live, yeah. Well, not the East Coast, but Eastern Time Zone where we live, yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to pick up that Naple Seed. Um, that's probably fine. Uh, okay, drop a carrot again. I kind of want to get to level 6. How much? Because I don't think we're going to end up using the Pendant. That'll take us all the way up to 9. That is... That's too much. Um... Mixing it with another potion will take us up to four, and we probably don't need the shine anymore, so mix that with that. Oh, that's a time two multiplier. I should have mixed it with one other thing first. I'm, I'm losing one material because of the way I just did things. That's my bad. Okay, where did the level four go? Level four with Muggle Seed to get us to five. Almost 2.30 a.m. there? Yeah, you're a little bit off from us. <laughs> just just a wee bit. I kind of want to keep the Naple Seed, but... But I don't know if we're going to be able to. I mean, I guess we don't have to craft the potion right now. We can eat the two Mulberries for the tiny bit of experience that they give us. And then pick up the two carrots and then just save the two carrots until we can do something else what's the winning lotto number center in the future yeah right all right boss time dude finally gonna get out of no oh, is this a carrot no it's an onion okay just gonna ignore it acer forward headquarters i feel like we were in that level forever ah oh, it's this guy again fuck this guy dude Hate him. Brigand. Yeah, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck Brigand. <laughs> the fashionably late asshole. He could actually be kind of difficult with, with uh, Velvet, I feel like. His high defense from all his shields, the fact that the, the ladies come in and help save him. Yeah, I feel like this could be a hard one. Ow. Hurt my toe. Oh shit, it's already time? Bye, love. I'll see you in a little bit. Potions can help you get rid of the shit. Ah, the 16 bits. Thank you so much, Mr. Noodle. You purposefully did that just enough to get ahead. <laughs> well, regardless, thank you for the bits, man. What do you mean potions can help you get rid of, like, the napalm and shit like that? <laughs> Just bitch slap him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fight for the number one spot. <laughs> Napalm or toxin. Uh, I don't think we can make either one of those right now. But it's a good, uh, good tip though if we end up having to fight him again in the epilogue or anything like that. But yeah, I think we're a little fucked on that right now. <laughs> oh. oh, um, okay. So what do we want to do? We probably want to pop some painkiller because defense is shit. So do that quickly. Uh, thankfully, it took effect before we got hit. So that's good. And then what else do we have? We have elixirs. We have drain, which I kind of just want to... It's This isn't a good use of it at all. And I, I recognize that, and I'm not denying this, but... We are going to use Drain 
to help grow our napalm that's on the ground. Um, and then we're going to get caught on fire, like something fierce. And we're just going to, like, try and bash the shit out of him and hope for the best, I guess, man. Ow. It's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. We've learned that if we run around, the flame goes out faster. So we should probably try and do that. Make use of that fact. Uh, okay, try not to get hit by too many of those things. I imagine that would hurt. Uh, it's going to say try not to get caught on fire again, but uh, it's it's too late. It's fine. He's going to spit fire again. Holy hell. Is it just me or is he spitting fire a lot more than he was before? Okay, we're running out of power, but it's fine. Give it just a... Mm, oh, that hurt. This is what we made health potions for, though. We're fine. Oh, God. Nope. Can you stop jumping for a moment? I want I want to heal is what I want to do. Thank you. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Mr. Noodles shared another four bits. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Thank you guys for the support, though, both of you. Uh, healing potion. It doesn't look like we have any partially used. Uh, and I just noticed, too, that our painkiller ran out. Definitely re-up that. Because we would be 100% dead already if it weren't for painkiller. <laughs> One of you guys got to give in eventually, man. <laughs> nope. Uh, we knocked that maple down early. Oh, well. It's fine. And, oh. Ah, oh shit, we're so close. What's the block button? Isn't there a block button? It's not that one. It's, nope, not R1. That does that. Square? Triangle. Maybe it is square. Oh, oh no, square's the homing attack. Okay. It's weird that it kind of went backwards. <laughs> Our square is just attack. If we hold square, it does the homing attack. Hey, butterfly. Hi. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I like butterflies, man. Just like, I don't know. They're cool. Ow, dude, no. Do not jump on me. Not okay. I really don't like you Valkyries that are like flying around. Wait, what's the new spell? We got a new spell. Foes on burst. Yes, please. That should do a bit of damage. Oh, we dodged the fire too. Very helpful. Uh, and we're grabbed. Um, I don't think <laughs> what is going on? Oh, we're dizzy. Uh, have we been like forcibly drunken? Is that <laughs> we just pour so much alcohol down our face that we're dizzy now? Is that what happened? And that alcohol was on fire, so it was damaging us? I'm confused on what just happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> you two. Why do you guys have to lose eventually? Oh. Uh, isn't pressing square firmly how you block? Or maybe Velvet can't? Also, welcome Dante to the stream. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking she can't. Because uh, that just charges up her um, homing attack. That one right there. So I'm, I'm assuming that she just can't block. Also, I am stupid and forgot to do the painkiller. We definitely want that. Because otherwise we are screwed. 100% screwed. Okay. Okay. We're fine. Everything is fine. Everything's going to be okay. You're never giving up. It's going to have to happen sooner or later, man. One of you doesn't matter to me which one, but someone has to give up. You can only have one top spot. What happens if you guys tie for top spot? Have either one of you tried that yet? Like, do you both get the, the number one thing? Or, oh god, no, don't do this again. We're gonna be dizzy, and we're just gonna die. That's what's... Uh, okay, he didn't seem to grab us nearly as long that time, at least, so that's good. We still need to get undizzy, though. And, of course, he rammed us fine. Everything is fine. Uh, da -da -da, healing tonic. And maybe some cyclone because y'all need to get the hell away. 
you were tied at one point, but it, maybe it's like the last person to donate bits or something like that gets the number one spot in the in the case of a tie. I really don't know how that works. I'm not gonna lie. Nope, not ramming me, bro. Not if I can help it. Okay, that's fire. Get back for a moment. Let's just take this. Take take a moment. Absorb some Fozons, maybe. Uh, try to. I really don't like you, Valkyrie people. If you can just, like, stay away. <laughs> Maybe just die. That would be cool. Uh, I gotta remember, we can't just run into our own Cyclone. Never really made sense to me, because it's our magic. But I guess it just, uh... It's an equal opportunity, uh, Mahertia-type spell. <laughs> what did I tell you about ramming me, bro? Not happening, okay? Come on. I really missed the, the dark mode of uh, the last guy we played. What was his name? Was it Cornelius? Was that his name? I really missed that ability. Okay, our painkiller ran out. So, Oswald, thank you. Cornelius was uh, the one that was turned into a puka. Sorry, memory not the best. Let's take the painkiller since that ran out. Some ice or fire spirits would really come in handy right now. No, do not fill up his cup. He doesn't need no more alcohol. He's had enough. <laughs> uh, can I jump? Nope. Okay, I should probably heal. Just because if he gets a hold of us again, we are dead. I don't want to waste the healing potion on only, you know, 100 health essentially. But we got we to gotta be careful of the, the potential for a grab. He's only lost one shield so far. That's good. There's two. There's a second shield. Come on, get the rest of them down. Right, get back and no, I need you to like stay there. I want you to be caught in the cyclone too. Oh shit, I killed myself. That was totally my fault. I did that to myself, man. I was just talking a minute ago about how the cyclone hurts you but I ran straight through it anyways because I'm a dumbass. God, okay. It's fine. We are going to get this before the stream ends tonight, man. It's gotta happen. I'm not accepting anything else. Okay, remember to take the painkiller as soon as the game loads up. Remember that. Okay, actually, you know what? Get out of the way first and then take the painkiller since we spawn in a bit of a precarious situation. Just beat the shit out of it, man. Just that's that's all we gotta do. Maybe maybe stay in the air a bit. I don't know if the air or being in the air is actually gonna help, but a lot of his attacks are kind of ground based, like him stomping on the ground and things like that, hitting the ground with his hammer. So being in the air, I think, will be helpful to some degree. Okay. Yep. So far, so good. Okay. We've dodged everything so far. This is actually going pretty well. Uh, that's fire. Need to get our power back. There we go. Jug, he got us. Uh, and we're actually pretty low on health. This could be bad because we're going to be dizzy too. And then he's probably going to ram us afterwards. That seems to be what he does. Yep. There it goes. Oh, we're still alive. We're still alive. The painkiller, the painkiller saved us, man. <laughs> okay, we're good. Take, take a health potion, quickly now. Can we get a little bit of magic? Oh, hi there, guys. Um, Cyclone should deal with you just fine. Okay, I was hoping to be able to spend some time to absorb some Fozons after killing them, but not happening. I want to... Oh, shit. Uh, gosh, y'all suck, dude. Okay. That should get rid of some of the Valkyries that are assisting him at the moment. I think our painkiller ran out. It did. It did. Okay. Get back. Take another painkiller. That's a healing tonic. I'm stupid. 
thankfully we have extra. Get over the flames and kill. Just get rid of some of the shields, man. I really wish now that we would have maybe made some of the, uh... Same thing. <laughs> Not quite. Close enough, I guess. Some of the uh, the napalm or toxics or something like that, the toxic cloud thing. Because if that does help him get rid of his uh, or does help get rid of his shields, that would be a huge boon right now. That's why we're doing like no damage to him because the stupid shields just eat all of it. Ah, oh, dude, this part sucks. Thankfully, our painkiller is still up and running. So we should be okay. Uh, not if we keep getting dizzy, though. That's going to end up badly. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, come on. All right. Get away from him. Get away from him. Health potion. Maybe that, that one that we accidentally drank a bit of. We don't have any magic for that. What's annoying is there was like a butterfly that spawned in, too. We could have totally used that to get our magics back up and running. Uh, painkiller, actually. I just realized that's gone. Do that first. I'd rather not die. <laughs> Losing a little bit of potential damage output sucks, but dying and having to start the fight over again sucks more. No, dude! Uh, it's fine. 228 Chocobo! Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I know you guys are just doing it to troll each other, but uh, I don't mind. <laughs> Seriously, guys, thank you. Thank you all. Holy hell. Rue Noodle uh, Chocobo. Y'all are fantastic. Thank you, guys. The past couple days, man, have just been insane with all the support you guys have been giving. Like, honestly crazy. So, thank you. Okay, we need to run away and heal. Uh, ow, that's that's why we need to run away and heal. Because if we don't, we're gonna die. Rue taking the number one spot again, dude. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> you will win. <laughs> You're determined, huh? Not accepting no for an answer. I like it. All right, we, we seem to have a bit of a break in the action for a moment. Can we maybe get some of these bosons flying around? Just, just a couple. Thank you. What is he doing? Why is he just sitting there? Actually, you know what? I ran out of painkiller. Let's take another one. Thank you for that. And now please die. I would also love to kill that stupid Valkyrie that keeps refilling his glass. I mean, I, I know she'll just respawn, but still... I just want to kill her out of, uh, I don't know, disdain, hatred, pure rage and hatred. <laughs> All right. That's actually not that bad. Well, we're okay for now. We, I'm tempted to heal just because I'm worried about him grabbing us again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal. I take it back. It's not okay. We're gonna heal. Cyclone. Probably not a good time to use it, but I don't care. Using it anyways. Take the last of that healing potion. Oh, hi, Axe. Painkiller's still up and running. He also still has his full shields. Like, that's not annoying or anything. We're gonna end up completely killing him without taking down any of the shields, which is just absolute garbage. Oh, no. We actually ran out of power. Okay, there we go. Get the hell out of there for a moment. Cyclone, and maybe don't run into my own Cyclone this time. <laughs> that was really dumb. Absorb whatever posons I can while we have a break. Uh, he just got a refill again. Chocobo with another seven bits? Dude, <laughs> guys, you guys are insane. Thank you all. For all the support, man. Even just being here is like, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Just being here is enough. So the fact that you guys are insane uh, with the with the bits and the subs and stuff is honestly <laughs> crazy, dude. Thank you, guys. 
<laughs> I'm just wondering how far you guys are willing to take this uh, trolling of each other. Because, like, it's already... It's already a lot. <laughs> I don't know the exact amount, but it's already up there. Oh, I owe you money so you can get your crackers noodle? That's fine, yeah. Remind me uh, after the stream, because I will, I will definitely give you money for the crackers. Okay, we need to run away and prematurely heal, kind of, but I'm assuming since you're blocking, that's not going to kill you. Also, take the hit first and then heal. Again, premature use of, of healing potion probably, but don't care. Just want this dude to die. He has so little health left, man. <laughs> like, please. Oh, uh, God. Rue with the freaking 200 bits. Holy hell, man. And Big Daddy Pee Wee. Welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. You guys, pretty much single-handedly with all of these freaking bits, have uh, started another uh, height train. Valkyrie Grace, thank you so much, dude. Guys, you guys are just insane. What the hell? <laughs> Thank you, all of you. Holy shit, dude. Another hydrate. Canadian fan just subbed? Oh my god, guys. Seriously. Thank you so much. We're gonna end up dying here again. I need I need to get away. We're dead. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Hattie322? What is going on? Did somebody do... You just gifted five tier one subs. That's where it's coming from. Holy shit, man. Five tier one subs? That is insane. What? <laughs> you guys are crazy. Guys, thank you. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Holy hell, man. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you all. Thank you all. I can't believe we've gotten two hype trains in like two days in a row. That is, that is insane. And we've crushed our sub goal down there. Like, we were only hoping for 10 this month and we've gotten 16. Like, what is that? You guys are all the best. Seriously, thank you all. Holy fuck, dude. Now I just wish that I could kill this dude for everyone's enjoyment. <laughs> so we're not stuck on this same boss for the next six hours. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Thank you. Let's go. Yes, let's fucking go, dude. You think you fell asleep for a second? Sorry, dude. No worries, Valkyrie. Holy hell, man. Y'all are crazy. I still can't... Two height trains in two days. That is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I... I'm seriously at a loss for words. Like, I don't even know what else to say. Just, yeah. The, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I've got the best viewers in all of Twitch, man. Like, the best community in all of Twitch. For sure. The amount of support from, from the people that we got here is just insane to me. And, uh, I don't think, I don't think it's normal for, for you know, this level of, of, of shit. Uh, do not, actually. <laughs> Please do not. <laughs> Another 53 bits? Another 7 on top of that, too? You guys are crazy. I think we've already hit... Have we already hit level 1 of the hype train? I can't tell. There's a check mark beside it. I don't know if that means we've hit level 1 or if that just means that, uh... If that just means that one's been initiated, but regardless. Holy fuck, dude. Still out of stock. Oh, no. I'm happy about that. <laughs> uh, we don't need that. Oh, it hasn't... It hasn't... Uh, level 1 hasn't happened yet. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that's fine. Honestly, you guys have already done so much. Oh, no. A hype train is close. Is what it says. Takes three people. Okay. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. I misread it. I misread it. What it said there. Still though, man. That's insane. Uh, we are out of... I'm paying so much attention to everything else. We are out of painkiller. Need to need to get some painkiller here. 
before we die and have to fight this guy for the 16th time. Because this stream isn't ending until this dude is dead and uh, Noodle gets off work in like two hours. So, <laughs> Noodle, I, I didn't want you to walk home tonight, love, but uh, <laughs> I'm joking. We're going to get this before that. Mr. Noodle with the 100. What the hell, dude? There we go. Hype train incoming. That's, <laughs> that's the trigger. <laughs> now it happened. Oh my god, dude. And we're already at 71% completion for it. <laughs> you guys, what are you doing? Holy shit, man. Thank you. Just thank you all. That's better. <laughs> Oh, man, he grabbed us again. We're going to die. That's Y'all are crazy, dude. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have no other words. Now, where's my gold box? <laughs> Who's in first for bits I can't see? I honestly can't see either um, because of the hype train right now. So I don't know who's in first. I guess it would say next to your name, though, right? Doesn't it say that? Yeah, well, Noodle is, says second, so... we at 500? Dude. <laughs> Y'all are crazy, man. All right, we're out of painkiller. Take some painkiller. Down that bottle, please. Some healing tonic. I hardly know what's going on in the game even right now. I thought we were soulmates. <laughs> it's not a personal attack on you, Noodle. What the hell, dude? Uh. Oh my god, guys. Insane. All of you. Thank you. You have done enough, Rue, honestly. All of you have done enough. I appreciate it. Like, I'm just happy that people come and hang out with me while I play video games. All this other stuff is just amazing, dude. Really blows my mind. How amazing you all are. Now, if we can just kill this guy and get the hell out of this fight. That's that would be that would be the icing on the cake here. <laughs> did we get the foes on burst ability yet? We had it. We did. Okay. That should do some damage. Not as much as I had hoped. I guess it's because he still has all his shields though. We're almost out of power again. Run away for a moment. Uh, open up the chest. It probably won't be anything too useful, but it could be. Oh, God, we're on fire. We are majorly on fire and out of painkiller again. Run away. That'll put the fire out. And painkiller. Please, 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 please. Do we have a partial one? We do not. Start a new bottle. I'm pretty sure this is an unsafe amount of painkiller, but uh, <laughs> without it, we would be dead. So I think it's okay. Can you, like, stop trying to chase me down you weird giant yes keep doing the fire attack I actually like when you do the fire attack because you telegraph it well this might be this might be it this might be done though but, but doctors keep prescribing it <laughs> I think that's meant to be taken over a period of time though yeah we're dead we're so fucking dead oh shit 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 shit, shit. okay healing tonic no time to run. Yes. Yes. Let's go. We're still alive. I don't know how we're still alive, but we're still freaking alive. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Get some magic. Please get some magic. I don't like you freaking people. The Valkyrie. I would do this fight a hundred times, though, before I ever choose to do that stupid wizard fight again. I'm really hoping we don't have to do that with, with Velvet here. That fight sucks something fierce. 
I think if we always stay... Hey, Chocobo, another 62 bits, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Also takes us up to 75% on the hype train. I don't think we're going to make it this time, but it doesn't even matter. Because y'all are awesome. Noodle with another 25? Dude, thank you. Does that put you in in first? Oh, we're out of, we're out of painkiller. Oh, shit. The game is... Uh, wait. We got a level one hype train emo, dude. <laughs> Another one. Hell yeah, man. That is what, three now that we got? What is this one? What is this one? This is hype sleep. Yes. <laughs> that is, I like it. I like that one. That might be my favorite one yet. Hype sleep. Please and thank you. We all need to hype that sleep a little bit more because... Uh, that's the real MVP right there. Damn, Chocobo, you got all kinds of them, don't you? You may be a whale. <laughs> oh, shit, I see that. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Noodle really hyping that sleep. Noodle's all for that. I'm pretty sure Noodle likes sleep more than me half the time. And I can't even be mad about it, like... We are so close. If we don't kill this guy this time, I'm going to be so upset. You like the kitty? I honestly figured you just liked it because of the sleep. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, I knew you would like the kitty too, but the sleep part is where it's at. All right, dude is going to die. Crit, please. Yes. All right, we need some pow magic to get rid of some of these dudes. Don't walk through our own cyclone. We were so close that one time, and then we screwed ourselves by running through our own cyclone like a dumbass. He's so close to dying. If we just stay behind him, I don't think he can grab us. I think, uh... Ow. It seems like most of his attacks only really work in front of him. So if we just... Oh, wait, we're out of painkiller. He's so close to dead. We may not need the painkiller, but we're going to take it anyways. <laughs> uh, the last drink of it. Man, I'm glad we spent all that time making these potions. I honestly thought we had a bit too much painkiller, but this, uh, this fight has proven me wrong. Thank fuck. He is dead. Finally. <laughs> Finally took him down with five minutes to spare in the stream. We got him. The standings, by the way, Noodle, if you can hear, Ruman is at 500, you are at 375, uh, Chocobo's at 297, so you only need another 125. This is a different kind of cutscene. You must not have donated anything during the hype train. You have to you have to donate during it to get it. <laughs> Death through I need to uh follow his channel. I don't think I follow his channel. I watch him on YouTube, but Death Unites us. So, okay. <laughs> when does her story take place compared to the rest? Is it like at the end of it or? Is this water ship down? What? <laughs> She appears all over. It's Gwendolyn back again. Are you talking about the book water ship down? <laughs> Is that the only 
<laughs> it's like it's a book featuring rabbits. Okay, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I googled it because I had no idea what the hell you were talking about, and uh, I just saw a book cover with some rabbits on it. I was like, "What?" I don't. <laughs> I thought maybe it was like a related story or something. Nope, it just has rabbits on it. Oh fuck. Okay, save the game. Uh, we'll probably have an intro cutscene whenever we get to the next part. I wonder. I wonder if it's gonna be one more week or two more weeks. We're getting really close to the end, but not quite there yet. This is after Corny fought against Mercedes, you think, and after Gwen's second or third chapter. Okay, okay. It's hard to keep track of. I know they have the timeline feature so you can see where everything's at, but yeah. Because we're like halfway through her story, and then we have the epilogue. I don't know how long that takes. Oh, there is no cutscene here or anything. So I guess I guess that's it, dude. A hype train to finish out the night? You guys are crazy. Um, I really, I, I don't have anything else to say, but thank you to all of you, of course. Uh, Chocobo with the five gift subs, that was insane. And then just so many bits, so many bits. It rained constantly. Our little cup is overflowing, uh, even even with its pachinko freaking pegs in it, like, <laughs> to knock them out of the way. Like, dude, all the bits, all the bits, the donations, everything. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are crazy, honestly. Thank you. Um, fuck. Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> You think two more streams? That's fine with me. I'm really enjoying the game. So, like, I don't mind it taking two more streams at all. I am excited to, to do some other things, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't mind spending more time with this. And someday, someday, we'll go back and do the remake. Later, Chocobo. Again, thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So glad you were the one to introduce you to this. Me too. Because if you didn't, I wouldn't have found out about it for God knows how long. Uh, at the rate that we are playing through PS2 games, it could have taken as much as, like, I don't know, eight years? <laughs> so, like, fuck, dude, I have no idea. But alright, guys, with all that said, though, uh, I think, I think that's pretty much it. We're at nine o'clock. Our four hours is up. It's been a crazy couple of days from you guys, so thank you for the millionth time. I can't stop saying it enough, uh, but I really mean it. Don't forget me. I won't forget you, Noodle. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm gonna come pick you up, love. I promise. <laughs> oh, God. Later, guys. Have fun. Be safe and fight the patriarchy. Yep. Do that. And, uh, of course, as always, be kind to each other, guys. Have a nice night. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next week, Valkyrie. I have not. She's lying. I fell asleep. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that and he's just firing constantly maybe if you wait for a moment he'll stop to to reload or or